Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sit down. Let me teach you something. Revelations 1 verse 1. This is not where I'm going, but I just want to show you something. You see, brothers and sisters, listen to me. Every time God gives a mandate, please pay attention, be sensitive. Every time God gives a mandate, there are invisible forces. Listen carefully. No man is ever sent alone. You cannot do the work of God, the ministry of the spirit in the strength of the flesh. So every time God anoints a man or commissions an agenda, there are invisible forces. They don't come in response to prayer. Are we together? There are angels that come when we pray, but there are angels that follow graces. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? They, are not, they do not come in response to prayer. They don't come when the people believe. They come everywhere the anointing that backs that assignment goes. Are we together now? Ezekiel had a very strange vision. And he saw a wheel. And he saw that the shadow beams were following the direction of the wheels. Wherever it was going, it directed them. So I want you to know that there, there are two kinds of spiritual forces at work tonight. There are spiritual forces that come in response to the prayers of the saints. But there are spiritual forces that are positioned to make sure that every mandate given by God comes to pass. Are we together? Revelation chapter 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which he gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Verse 1. He says, and he sent it and did what? And he signified it by his angel. There was an angel that was assigned with that revelation to make sure that not only John received it, but to make sure that revelation was guarded and delivered. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you, the host of heaven is in this place. There are angelic activities that saw you when you were writing your request when you were taking the step of faith in the midst of the pain when you were dragging yourself and saying if i'm not healed this night i don't know what will happen there were angels sent to signify because you see you were coming because you believed that god will touch you are we together? The angels are not at random. Then they start walking around hoping who are we attached to? No, God is not that disorganized. Right from your home, an angel was signified. Yes, this yes, person sir. coming with cancer, who is the angel? And he follows. Ah. If you decide to change your mind and go back, the angel will not be represented here. The angels that come on account of prayer will come. But the ones mandated 
that you tap into the provision that the anointing is made for you you may never get that experience listen let me tell you something and i say it with all humility if you find yourself on this ground half of your miracle has happened believe me do you know why listen listen this is not boastful statement if you know the forces that stand between your house and this place that stand between your mind what do you think happens when you change your mind and money disappears days to come and you feel weak and trouble comes it's an agitation so that you were able to take the step of faith and arrive some of you arrived since afternoon and you've been seated patiently god is not a joker and he signified it by his angel and he signified it there are forces that back men as i just mentioned forces i just started seeing lights when i see these things i know that they are angelic activities lights Paros Kelebrianda Katashi Priata. Lights. Subren de Kaposhia. The Bible says there are angels that excel in strength. They excel in strength. They war warfare. They, 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 they were given an assignment from heaven. They are not just here waiting. No. They were sent. God said, make sure this woman does not go back with this pain. She didn't go to a herbalist. Make sure. This sister does not go back with that devil. And he sent it. I'm giving us an orientation like this because you see many of us are very casual. When we come into the presence of God, sometimes we are not trained to discern atmospheres. It is important for you to understand. Atmospheres don't create themselves. Mysteries create them. So you may just be sitting and looking at a chair but there is a lot there is a programming you came and entered into are we together now yes there is a business that men do with god before just coming nobody is stupid enough to come and stand before thousands of people and hold a mic and talk nonsense it's suicidal there must be an agreement with god and god says go and it is on the strength of that that you can dare to stand and say oh grave where is your sting oh sickness where is your limitation are we together please i want you to know i'm i'm giving us a little orientation because i truly the the things i saw in my visions as i prayed god is going to rest on this place in a heavy way it's as if it's as if there is an agitation and i've been sensing this whenever i sense the burden of the spirit i know that in partnership with god's people god is tired of certain situations that must change but the the the, the thing is about us if we are willing to partner with him god can be willing but we can be careless and hope well if, if it happens that's all right let me just watch if my situation changes no problem if the new anointing comes to my life no problem if god opens up a new door no problem if the employment comes no problem but tonight is for people who insist and say there's no plan b god i've come tonight there is no plan b i'm not hoping for a job next month i've had other testimonies i don't know who you must talk to but thank God the man of God said there are angels. They must walk this night too. This is, this is the kind of audacity. This is the kind of insistence. Oh God, we are 11 in our family. Nobody is rising. Are we cursed? We love you. We serve you. No job. No children. No marriage. No peace. Come on now. You need to get angry. There is an agitation that provokes the anointing. Are we together? Lord, I didn't live a wayward life. Now there is a terminal disease that is about to destroy me. I don't know where it came from. I just found out that they said I have HIV or cancer. Insist I must leave you this night. Don't sit down and be hoping and saying, well, uh, if it doesn't... No! Nobody who has an option receives a miracle. You don't receive miracles with options. It is if I perish 
I perish. Let it not be that you wasted your transport to come and you are saying, okay, Lord, let's watch what happens. No, sir. Lord, I've heard that you can change the stories of men. I've watched you do it. Hallelujah. There is a connection. You see, what causes things to happen in the kingdom is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The power of God is the mysterious agency behind results. Whenever results happen in the physical, the agency, the force that makes results to happen is the power of God. It's not just prayer. Listen carefully. It's not just the words. Words are vehicles. In those words are the force and the power, the life-giving power of God. But listen carefully. There is a relationship that many believers do not understand between faith and the anointing. Many people have written books about faith and the anointing. And the teaching that most people have received in the body of Christ is that you can choose faith or you can choose the anointing. There are two routes to choose from. It's a lie. There's nowhere in the Bible where that is taught. I've read my Bible very well. This is an office that God has given me. I can tell you about the anointing. There is no place in the Bible where you can choose either between faith and the anointing. No, sir. They will always work. Faith in itself does not produce results. Faith connects you to the flow of the anointing. It is the anointing, the power of God that produces results. Why is faith important? Because that is the only way God designed for men to touch the anointing. The possibilities of God are only authorized to be manifested when there is faith. What is faith? Conviction. Conviction. And the action that is taken on the strength of that conviction. Very simple. Faith is conviction. The most important aspect of faith is conviction. Accumulating scriptures is not conviction. That you are familiar with scriptures does not mean conviction. Conviction is of the heart. It is a dimension of the operation of the Holy Spirit. Where faith is grounded in the spirit of a man is called conviction. Are we together? Listen to me. The reason why many believers do not see the outstretched arm of God is because there is truly no faith. If the problem is not anointing. It is faith because many believers are not Bible believing believers. Many believers do not study the word of God. You see the system of the miraculous is such that you must understand that God is not a herbalist. The basis of the introduction of his power to your life is access to his will access to his will that's the starting point of faith it matters to god that you are convinced not only that he wants to touch you or that he's able to touch you but that he's willing to touch you the bible is full of god's willingness but until you find out you're not going to believe nothing you believe a report you believe an information you believe a truth Someone must propose something to you. He said, whose report will you believe? The starting point is your access to a truth. Not just a random access to scripture. Oh, by his stripes I am healed. Oh, I am the head and not the tail. Oh, I am the righteousness of God. That's just stories. Brothers and sisters, that's not conviction. An accumulation of scriptures is not conviction. Conviction is a product of meditation. That you take the word of God and say, Lord, there has to be a way out. Now, let me tell you, while you are meditating, your situation has not yet changed. It is the meditation that will change it. You will not meditate when it changes. That you sit down and you open your Bible and you say, we are 12 in our family and every door has closed. Door of favor closed of everything and you find a scripture and you stay with the Holy Ghost 
while you are studying that scripture you are clueless on what to do don't worry faith is rising in your spirit and all of a sudden the word of god is energized in your spirit the holy ghost opening you up he brings you to a point where you are convinced such that even if you don't receive the result yourself you can no longer say it's a lie you will just admit that this thing has not worked for me but to disbelieve that this is god's will is impossible that's conviction you get to a point where the truth the, your certainty about that truth is no longer about your result again that you look at it and say male and female he created them if i never give birth to a child from my womb i will never disbelieve the fact that god gives children that's conviction where you are not your situation is too small to make you change this is who god is this is what he has said conviction most times we come to god we think we have faith but the truth of the matter is that we just come and hope okay lord i just hope let the man of god prophesy to me i i hope will he lay hands on me will i be healed i don't know what will happen but lord i hope no no the bible is full of god's manifesto so that you will believe him brothers and sisters if you were god will you gather a whole family like this and then tell them i'm joking there's something people do a pray fool you know it you know how angry you are when they do a pray fool for you because of the seriousness that is committed in the information and then the person tells you i was joking no sir no sir no sir god cannot call a solemn assembly like this to come and waste your time and then to say that he's going to give you a job now let me tell you there is every possibility you will go back and that job will not happen and it's not god's fault god is saying if my power does not come your direction something is stopping it faith faith blind Bartimaeus would not shout if he did not believe jesus would heal him he heard that this man could heal and although he was blind he said thou son of david he never called him jesus that's a revelation that's a revelation all those who knew jesus never called him jesus they called him by certain names thou art christ the son of the living god son of david have mercy upon me are we together now so once you are here seated you didn't come for church you are the one who knows the fire you left to come here let me tell you how to respond and receive number one you have to be convinced that God is able and willing to step in step in now you may say man of God you don't know how many men of God have prayed for me let me teach you something about miracles there is there is a dimension of the grace of God you only experience when you find a man that is sent to you listen very carefully there were many widows in Zarephath and I'm sure those widows called on the God they knew. But to none was Elijah sent. The Bible never said the widows were not taken care of. Elijah was not the only prophet. So other systems were designed by God. But as far as the widow of Zarephath is concerned. One of the greatest testimony that can happen to a man. Is to discern the anointing that can solve your problem. That a man is anointed does not mean he solves every problem. No, sir. No, sir. There were people, Jesus was on earth, he did not touch them. It was when the apostles received the Holy Ghost, they came back and met those people. And the, the apostles touched them. Paul, who was Saul, was on earth. But the earthly ministry of Jesus did not affect him. It was till Jesus went to heaven. And then he had several encounters and came. So that a man is anointed it will be arrogant to just guarantee and imagine that everybody will be touched by your anointing it's not true these are very deep spiritual mysteries jesus said john 17 listen to what he said he said all that you have given me that means there were some that were not given 
they were given to his salvation but not his earthly ministry they were given to be benefactors of his salvation as the lamb of god but they were not given to be partakers of his earthly ministry all that you have given me listen he was giving god a report he says all that you have given me i have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition and it's not because i was careless he was lost so that scriptures might be fulfilled people of god i want you to believe god and trust god tonight if you carry your problem and come and carry your anger and annoyance anger does not give miracles oh my stupid husband my stupid wife no you are going to come with your heart open and say lord i know i know it is within your power and you 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 are receptive receptive to prophecies receptive to instructions receptive to the move of god that when his power comes close to you you know that lord this is it i've gotten my miracle testifying is not magic you program your spirit to be a benefactor the anointing of the spirit can come and pass a place and you can stand as though it never located you is that true but there is a way you can position your spirit it's called faith first your conviction a, a sense of certainty that God will touch me the program was tailor-made I was talking with the protocol while we we're coming and I was telling him that from start to finish of our programs especially the miracle service everything is designed to make sure that your miracle does not escape you from the opening prayer to everything to the nature of the prayers the miracles then prayer requests then everything and then still after the service i stand to see people is is a design to make sure that everybody receives don't let the devil mock god in your life you are going to insist and say lord i believe you lord i believe you now let me tell you something with satan because satan knows that we walk in the realm of the flesh he knows that the way he destroys your faith is to supply informations around your life that are very obvious is that true right now you are sitting down then he uses the pain and he says tell me man or woman of faith is it no pain you are feeling now and then you are tempted to say but it's true tell me man or woman of god is it not your rent issue you left at home is the landlord not waiting for you at home when you hear that kind of thing it just agitates you but people of faith say uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. i choose to believe it is in the believing the miracle will come i'm not ready to be distracted now it is in the believing that the miracle will come every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear. Tonight in this place, there are people who are afflicted by all kinds of diseases. Some of you have had medical reports. Some of you have spent money in the hospital and it has become clear. Some of you were even recommended by doctors. We thank God for the caliber of doctors we're having now. They are spiritual people. Once they try once, twice, it's them who will advise you and say, we will not stop you. But Mr. Man, find a man of God quick. Are we together now? There are people here sick with all kinds of oppression. Benihim calls sickness death, limited death. He calls sickness limited death. That means if you are sick, it's like a part of you has already died. And it's true. There are people here with all kinds of delays in need of major breakthroughs. Not everyone here is sick, but there are people in need of all kinds of breakthroughs. 
there are people here and many people do not know that the causes of their challenges are oppressions demonic oppressions demonic oppressions activities of spiritual forces in the lives of people programming repeated cycles of tragedy programming repeated cycles of tragedy there are people tonight in need of supernatural solutions solutions that only God can give job issues promotion issues health issues all kinds of issues it's not called a healing service it's called a miracle service a miracle service is an atmosphere where the multifaceted possibilities of God are allowed unrestrained it's like a feast if you are sick then there is a dimension of him that can address that if you are not sick but oppressed of the devil there is a dimension of him now it's important for us to understand how God answers prayers because many of us have been praying we have prayed here over our issues there are many of us what you need tonight is prayers and wisdom that is the answer that you need wisdom you may not be sick but a lot of your decisions may not be accurate and you will need a supply of wisdom or higher wisdom number two there are people tonight the miracle you need is grace for obedience grace for obedience grace for obedience that spiritual inertia that reluctance to rise up responding to your conviction is what has kept many of us where we are there are people tonight your prayers will be answered to deliverance there is no discussion you don't need counseling you need those spirits out of your life and the legal basis not just the spirits out of your life but the legal authorization that keeps them in your life keeps them in your family there are people tonight the answer to your prayer is healing for your body healing for your soul do you know years ago I didn't pay so much attention to what people call emotional healing I felt it was very feminine and for lazy people most I, I felt any serious person needed physical healing or spiritual healing if you needed emotional healing you needed orientation too but it's not true um, emotional healing can be more painful than physical healing are we together the Bible says a broken spirit can dry the bones where the life of a man is carved out there are people in need of all kinds of healing there are people tonight the answer to your prayer is repentance and forgiveness that's how God will answer you you need to forgive and you also need to repent that's your miracle service tonight there are people tonight the answer to your prayer is prophecy you need a prophetic word you need a direct prophetic word that addresses your issues no long story no discussion alongside the creative power that flows through prophecy pay attention there are people tonight the answer to your prayer is an impartation of favor it's very clear that if favor came into your life you would not be where you are favor there are people tonight the answer to your prayer is a direct impartation greater fire greater unction greater activation of the gifts of the spirit greater activation of of a higher capacity for spiritual things There are people tonight your own miracle service is an introduction of the mercy of God over your life and situation everybody here will receive tonight through one or 
more of this means a supply of wisdom grace for obedience deliverance from spirits healing repentance forgiveness prophecy favor impartation your assignment is to be sensitive to when your word comes you see that like the lady who was already shouting while the meeting started something is already happening to her you see god is already doing his business with her for someone in the overflow you may be in maybe overflow three overflow three the fence is covered and they almost cannot see me directly except through the screen doesn't matter the only thing you benefit standing close to a man of god is convenience in the realm of the spirit it doesn't matter whether you are here whether you are outside whether you are online whether you are in any nation doesn't matter the time zone the most important thing is when your faith can connect to the anointing then a supply of the power of god comes your direction tonight brothers and sisters i present to you a god who is almighty tonight i present to you a king that can heal that can change situations the bible says where the word of a king is there is power i present to you one who is not limited by our situations i present to you one who is loving enough to respond to you i present to you one who loves you enough to change your life i present to you one who can give you value for your time spent in his presence god is not a herbalist god is not a prophet he walked on the earth and manifested those things but he's god almighty i want your heart to be open tonight especially if you are here for the first time you may have come gone through all the rigors of the inconvenience to position yourself somewhere you must open up your heart to receive we have prayed we've partnered with god and god is ready to deliver that which is your portion in full in full in full not part of it remember the negotiation that pharaoh wanted he wanted to broker a negotiation and said let your wives go leave your kids behind and and moses said no way that's not what god told me everything must go plus animals so you're going to insist tonight that even if it's your hair falling god must come in and touch it don't say it does not matter why believe god in one area and not believe in another regardless of the area it is still the power of god that will solve it don't trust god to heal your body and then not change your financial situation no don't trust god to step in and deliver you from oppression and then you go back sick again do you believe tonight that the Lord is going to step in and change your life. Truly speaking, let me tell you this. God has granted me the privilege to walk in dimensions of his anointing. It still marvels me after many years of working in the anointing, how the anointing works. It's still a marvel to me at how when the power of God truly locates someone, how his life changes overnight overnight except it's not the power of god that meets you you won't know it will change all of a sudden you will see doors open my elder sister shared with me a testimony today she probably might be following online something that god did in her life and i'm not a very emotional person but i was almost fighting tears i says god already first of october a strange these are the these are the these are the kinds of miracles listen these are the kinds of miracles that when you hear if only one of it happens per year you are happy major miracles that can shift your life i said lord thank you because my family members are also partaking because they have to believe too that they are my family members does not mean they will believe automatically no the brothers of jesus kept watching him and he said don't be watching no release your faith some of you here are sitting you have cried in the secret you have cried in the open let this be your last cry are we together only God knows the pain that some of you are seated here with 
the level of pain you are you are seated that, see this is why we fast and pray and prepare because we will be wicked to allow people come some of you started your journey since last week you have come to come spend time spend resources no this is not a cinema hall this is not a place of games some of you have carried sick people some of you have carried sick bodies there is a God that can reward there is a God that can reward please hear me I may not claim I know everything about God but I know this God enough to know his mighty let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Listen, listen, let me teach you something about the anointing. The anointing introduces possibilities in your life. These are things that were not there. If it's not there, you can't say it's there, it's a lie. Tonight, don't tell lies. There are things that are not in your life but should be there. The agency that will bring it is the anointing. There is favor that should be in your life but it's not in your life if it's not there everybody will know when it comes we will also know there were things that were not in my life years ago when it came i knew to the degree that brought it listen tonight is the ministry of the spirit i told you it's the anointing that is responsible for the result it is the the it is a how shall these things be what is the dynamics he said the power of the highest that's how it happens it has never changed it is always an encounter with the anointing your the job of your faith is to connect you to the anointing it is never faith that moves god no your faith connects you to the power of god tonight i came with an anointing there is enough grace there is enough anointing i tell you this there is enough anointing if you will believe there is enough anointing your situation is not the first your situation is the it's not the first your family situation is not the greatest there is nothing new under the sun god's ability is god's ability it's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. It's working in me. Hear me. The solution to your problem is in the anointing. Seek an encounter with it. When the anointing comes to you, that's the answer. That's the answer. Listen, listen. When the anointing comes your direction, that's your answer. That's God answering your prayer. I'm not talking about falling down I'm talking about an encounter the answer is in the anointing your faith 
only connects you to the anointing your life can change in a moment your life can change in a moment God is a prayer answering God he answers prayers by releasing his power he sends his power through his word in the direction where it is needed and received needed and received Make Prayer answering God. Shabbat. The prayer answering God. There is a God that answers prayers. Koinonia, He answers prayers with His power. He answers prayers with the anointing. The anointing is answered prayer. The anointing is answered prayer. The anointing, Kato Soto Kata is answered prayers barakoto shoteke telekata the anointing is answered prayer it is by the anointing there is no other way it is by the anointing please lift your hands the Lord is going to do a very quick walk tonight I'm hearing people crying in the spirit and the Holy Ghost is telling me these are those who have been delayed delayed by the power of darkness I'm about to release the anointing upon people experiencing delay bring them out I stretch my hands delay Come on that judgment. You come on that judgment. Delay, delay. I stretch my hands. All the overflows online. Anyone here, any family under the spirit of delay, bring them out. Sakoto Shabariata. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. The fire of God breaking the chains of delay. Breaking the chains of delay. 
breaking the chains of delay breaking the chains of delay breaking the chains of delay bring them out delay over over forever there is an anointing i told you the anointing is the answer to the prayers there is an anointing i'm seeing in this main bowl 16 people i'm seeing a number 16 where are they i stretch my hands that sword of the spirit breaking delay there are families with a covenant of delay a covenant of delay a covenant of delay breaking now breaking now breaking now the covenant of delay shakatatata reketoko sotoba the covenant of delay hallelujah hallelujah overflow three please look at me on the screen you don't need to bring them here it's too long a distance those inside that building just look at me on the screen because i'm seeing angels moving at overflow three and i want to pray for you overflow three right now in the name of jesus right where you are in the name of jesus I'm seeing the number 24 24 people right at overflow 3 the Lord is breaking delay breaking delay from them breaking delay right now breaking delay hallelujah there are still people listen I want you to believe in what God is doing I want you to have a testimony without an encounter with his power it will just be a religious service i promise you and you will go back it is the power of god the power of god is what draws the line hallelujah delay delay god is not yet done where is that family oh lord that nobody has moved forward i'm seeing delay don't worry god is coming in the anointing of the spirit is looking for a family there is a family there is a family there is a family Shakatosete, shabrata skatapa reketa they are here there is a family jesus shokos ketetosia help this woman sheketos keleketa yata tosikata there is a family this is not just an individual thing. There is a family. The power of God is searching for a family that the devil has kept, kept, kept so that they will not rise. hallelujah we are going to be fast tonight there are many things to do i want you to be sensitive the lord is showing me a vision now and i'm seeing a grave i'm seeing something that looks like a black leather inside that grave and i'm seeing an angel of the lord pull it out and the lord is saying this was done against a family lord where is that family right now i stretch my hands Rakato sekete teka, eperiata, shopero toskota, preta tialatos. Whoever programmed the earth to fight any family, keleto soteriata. Tonight is a night of resurrection. Soteto skariatata, paroto sotokos, eleketo kesete kotos, priakata skotariata tosia. I decree and declare let it come out now let it come out the breakthrough of that family the healing of that family 
the miracle of that family I release it now hallelujah hallelujah I'm standing here and I'm looking at this stage one two three four five six seven I'm counting seven stones and the Lord is saying these are tight destinies this is the whole destiny of a family seven of them but may the sword of the God I serve Shakotos Kata Shakras Katakosia Braketo Toto Tete Ele Katos Keta Broskia Rakata Batos Soteriata in the name of Jesus any family tied down by witchcraft any family tied down by ordinances I decree and declare by the blood of Jesus liberty tonight liberty tonight hallelujah I'm seeing a family and there are four ladies and all the four ladies have a growth either a breast lump or something in their body four ladies all of them have it in the name of Jesus Christ wherever this family is regardless of what what overflow I stretch my hands now in the name of Jesus Christ that family does not need healing that family needs deliverance I command deliverance right now I command deliverance for that family now I command deliverance now when I was praying I saw at least eight women that were barren no child doesn't matter what he is some of them connected to families and the Lord told me he was going to open the wombs of every single one of them every single one of them every single one of them please lift your hands I want to pray now I believe in deliverance I really do this mama there's serious witchcraft in your family as I'm praying for you now I'm seeing a rope a rope I'm seeing a rope and the Lord is saying that I should set this mama free I'm just being fast because I want us to conserve time hallelujah listen do you know why we do not minister deliverance just as a religious thing no it is a way of separating people and the influences that tie them down that's what I want to do now I want to pray listen many of you inside many of you outside are here now because of spirits you may not believe it you may not agree but it's true they are the forces responsible for the pain and the tragedies that we are going through but I want to pray for you now your own is to believe just do what I'm asking you to do we have already prayed if those spirits do not clear out of your life there is no breakthrough you, you would have come to waste your time let me tell you the truth it is when those forces leave your life families here spirits have sat on the destinies of families do your worst go to school and come back and meet us get a job and see come back and meet us marry and come back and meet us are we together it's time for them to go lift your hands everyone I want to pray for you now I'm going to command those devils to leave you listen it's not a suggestion they must go they must leave you are we together now I'm praying for you please now because 
the ushers are doing their best the protocol is doing their best but there is only so much they may not be able to help people there are people outside please be your brother's neighbor if someone is under the anointing and is capsizing to enjoy himself you can do well to help please you can help at least manage the ushers will come for it because this prayer i'm about to pray now is going to bring strange manifestations in people i see a lot of wild spirits wicked ancient spirits all shapes and all sizes they must go now just one instruction i just want you to shout when i ask you the name of jesus once and at the top of your voice now listen don't be surprised when you find out that demons are manifesting through you it doesn't mean you are possessed no that's a different thing altogether some of you as you are here you are representing your family nothing may be wrong with you as a person but because of your family are you ready now lift your hands father in the name of jesus you have anointed this place as a place of fire a place of grace and deliverance there are lives and destinies that have been tied down for ages and in the name of jesus at the sound of my voice may your voice be in my voice may your grace be in my voice i send an alarm to the length and breadth of this place that at the count of three anyone that shouts that name let there be deliverance right now are you ready one two three i command those devils go now go now ancestral spirits spirit husbands spirit wives yokes of darkness i command you by the power of the holy ghost ancient spirits spirits that have been generational familiar spirits i command you now by the anointing of the holy ghost overflow one overflow two overflow three let them go now let them go now lift your hands lift your hands i'm seeing a number of ladies there are all kinds of spirits manifesting in the night as a man and a woman manifesting as animals in your sleeps and dreams in the name of jesus where are those ladies fire is looking for them now i separate you from those spirits i separate you from those covenants i separate you from those ordinances any man any woman any entity appearing to you in the night using the faces of men and animals in the name of jesus i command by the spirit a severance between you and them hallelujah sir this baba can i talk to you sir please come god is about to change your story forever i don't know you sir but i want to pray for you stand up please stand up sir i'm looking at you in a vision and i'm seeing you are not alone you came with some people your children one one child your son eh? only you no there's a son is here. where is he come come and stand daddy i want to pray for you that this life of hardship god want please stand up please stand up you don't have to kneel down sir this is your dad i want to pray for you you came believing eh august is it augustus i'm hearing the name augustus augustus is it augustus is it augustus augustine something augustus please if that's your name let me just talk to you quickly 
I want to minimize personal prophecy so that we can do much. We want to pray for the sick. I want to take out time and do an extensive deliverance tonight because there are people that, my sister, come, this lady, this one, not you, you are not a woman, my brother, this, come, lift your hands, shout over, forever in the name of Jesus Christ for you and your family. It's over in the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, if you have never believed a man of God in your life, what is about to happen to you there is a reason why I asked you to come because the Lord showed me that there was a son and I want to prophesy to you that this life of hardship will end like smoke before the wind. You believe it, sir? Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, it's over right now. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare that it's over. In the name of Jesus, over forever. Sir, hold my hands. Go and prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ, go and prosper. By the anointing of the Spirit of God. Go and prosper. Gabriel. Who is Gabriel? Gabriel. I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Please let's hurry up so that we don't waste time. Gabriel. Gabriel. Is he Gabriel? What's your name? Huh? Augustine. Come. You are Gabriel. Why is he here? Augustine. I want to pray for you. Where's your family? My dad is around. Is that... Hold on. There's a man wearing white. Is he your father? White shirt. Yes, Call him. Let him come. Who is that? Who is that? There's somebody. I'm seeing somebody wearing white. What's, please coordinate them. What? You're welcome, sir. Your name is Gabriel, sir. I'm going to pray for you. Please stand here. I want to pray for you. This is the guy wearing white. Come. What is he? My brother. Your brother. Come and stand. God wants to change your life. I don't know you, but I saw someone standing close to you wearing white. That's why I said there's somebody wearing white. Two of you, I want to pray for you. You love Jesus. God is going to change your life. Why is he here? Your name is Gabriel, too. You too. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God. Honestly, I tell you, God is visiting families. I don't know if it's because it's first October, but I see strange miracles. You, this one, put your hand on your stomach there, right now. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing fire coming on you. And the Lord is, I should tell you, he's taking something away from your stomach. That's what is happening right now. In the name of Jesus, I command that thing to go now. My brother, there is oppression. There is a spirit that you need to be delivered from. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Out now of his life and his family. Help two of them. God is delivering them. This is the spirit that is destroying their family. What's your name, sir? Augustine. Augustine. Where's the other Augustine? Okay, you are the one. You are the Augustine. Where are you from? Abia State. Abia State. Yes. I want to pray for you. God wants to give your family a miracle. Do you believe that? Lift your hands. There's bad luck in your life. The Lord is asking me to end it now. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands. I end bad luck. Over. The boy doesn't even believe. As you are standing, the anointing still touch you, but it doesn't have faith. Don't come and stand here and you are wondering. I'm not a herbalist. Have I prayed for you? What's your name? Year two. Year two. What is year two? I'm seeing Y E. Is it Y E T U or year two or year two? Something like that. Year two. Something that has to do with year two. Y E T U. I don't know if it's part of someone's name or something. Year two. Who is that? That's her name. What's her name? Year two. Can you imagine? How can you call somebody's name Yetu? You can guess Gabriel, you can guess Mary. But Yetu, I want to pray. There's something being taken from her life. Hold my hands. And the Lord is saying I should take it away. In the name of Jesus, let it roll like a curtain. And live her life right now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. This is of the devil and I release your wife right now by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Your miracle has come. Your miracle has come. You love Jesus, my friend, look at me. You love Jesus, I want to pray for you. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Why is she here? Your dad. There is a copper that I want to pray for. There is a copper. Something is coming on you, my dear. Let me pray for you. Don't worry. If, if, I, if all I do, I, I just lay my hands on you. Um, it, it doesn't matter. Please, why are you here? You are Gabriel? Gabriel, in the name of Jesus Christ, let me pray for this guy. God is giving you favor. Great favor. Great favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's, there's bad luck in your life and your family, but it's going now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's going. That's why you're here. Gabriel. Aleku is there. This is like an idol. Aleku or Aleku. Eh? Aleku. Aleku. Who is that? Eh? Hold on. Where are you from? Aleku. This is something that has to do with a tree. Is there something like that? He said, What? Why are they coming out? What is why are you? They named somebody after the idol, and the Lord is saying, who, who is the person? Whose name? This is it's not just an idol. We are going to pray for Benway State. But the, every state has a devil somewhere. I'm saying this is like somebody's name. Ale, Ale Ku was Ale something like that. Ale Ku also. Who is this? Huh? What's that? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. What's your name? Eh? Grace. Please, can you help us with this mic? The mic, please. Where are you from? Benway. You are from Benway. Yes. The Lord is showing me something. Look at me. If I'm right, say I'm right. If, if it's no, say no. I'm seeing you lying down and you are having a dream. Yes. And in the dream, you are calling this name I've been calling. Yes. Is that true? They call that name three times. One, two, three. That idol. Is that true? Yes. Sir. From that day when you woke up, your life was never the same again. Is that true? Give her the mic now. Let her talk. Yes. Sir. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Hold my hands. If you are from Benway here, hold my hands. Anything, any programming that has been done with any God. You'll be surprised what will happen now. In the name of Jesus Christ, anyone here from Benway whose destiny has been tied to any tree or any devil, right now, I use this lady as a point of contact. As God is touching her, out of their lives now, out of their destinies now, Daddy, let me pray for you, sir. This is your first time here? No, sir. I've been coming, sir. You've been coming, sir? Yes. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? Sir? What do you do? I'm a staff of a medical I have to pray for you, sir. Because I look at you, and not, not only because I'm looking at you, nobody will look at you and know, but there's serious depression, and I have to pray for you. That's number one. Number two, you have, you know what they call the cause of hardship. You are not a lazy man. 
but there is hardship in your life and the Lord is asking me to help you can I pray for you sir in the name of Jesus Christ Lord I pray for this our daddy let there be a miracle right now in his life I command this yoke of hardship to go let it go forever in the name of Jesus let it go forever Jumai 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 is that your name uh, well I'll pray for you but this is not the person I'm seeing Jumai I'll pray for you your family is oppressed there is a spirit that must go now bring her I've not even started praying bring her there is a, a, a wicked spirit that I see in this family a very wicked spirit that I see in this family this is something that is older than older than old this is hundreds of years old but in the name of Jesus I'm praying now I use you as a point of contact I command that spirit you must go now hallelujah please just allow me this is Juma I'll pray for you but I'm seeing a family this is like a curse no matter what the men do they never rise the Lord is saying I should break it something is happening to a family right now let me pray my sister this is your first time here I want to pray for you hold my hands hold my hands don't be afraid as I pray for you the Lord is going to open a door in your destiny that will surprise you in the name of Jesus I hold your hands now I decree and declare that everything that has tied you down everything that has tied you down right now in the name of Jesus there is disfavor in your life anybody who plans to bless you something turns them away from you anybody who plans to bless you something turns them away from you I hold your hands and I release you right now in Jesus name I want to pray in a hurry there is a family all the men it doesn't matter whether you are hardworking whether you go to school or not but the Lord is asking me to pray for that family right now Lord where are they I'm stretching my hands now and I'm declaring anyone here inside outside under the sound of my voice that belongs to this category as I stretch my hands right now I release the power of God to that family right now I speak to the men in that family arise now arise now arise now arise now arise now help that woman arise now arise now the men in that family arise now arise now in the name of Jesus There's somebody here, you lost your job in the month of March. March, you lost your job. Please, where is that person? You were working, but in the month of March. I want us to hurry up. I, I'm, I'm trying to see that we conserve time. The month of March. I don't know if you are, except if he's a person in his family, maybe overflow tree. Then they can just locate him. You lost your job. There's something, you lost your job in the month of March. Where is that person? Please quickly, if there's someone like that. What were you doing? I was a banker. I was a banker. You were a banker? Yes, sir. Something happened? Yes, sir. And they dismissed you? Yes, sir. What are you doing now? I'm doing my PG program for now. Do you believe if I pray for you, you'll get a job? Yes, sir. Will you come and testify? Yes, sir. <laughs> Where? Where have you been praying for? Huh? Sorry. Where have you been praying for for a job? Uh, same bank. Same job. bank. Same bank. You want them to call you back? Yes, sir. Do you believe they can call you back? Sure. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Because you see, I'm looking at something that had to do with money, and truly the guy was innocent. But they just joined people and since there was nobody to stand for him they joined everybody and threw them out 
but in the name of Jesus whatever should not leave you and left you I call it back to your life now I call it back to your life now I call it back to your life now hear me I know many of you may not why is he here sir come well stand up sir you were outside yes, overflow three overflow three yes you sir. lost your job where were you working i'm working in hospital which as hospital? an accountant which hospital to, to medical centers so that you see we don't ask this question because we're prying into your privacy i hope you are not embarrassed sometimes we ask it so that people don't think that this thing because there are still people with all these things they see, they still believe that maybe someone is playing games. At least this one is not, you are watching it now. Which hospital, sir? Tukutuku Medical Center, Zaria. At uh, Tukutuku. Okay, where are you working now? I'm just, I'm managing with one private school. What do you want God to do for you? Just get back the job. Back to that place? No, 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 no. Another job, sir another job yes. do you believe if i pray for you god will give you a job i believe that do you know why i'm prophesying to you in the open so that you will testify in the open too what's your name sir i'm paul paul yes sir god will give you a job eh? amen the heaven of heavens belongs to the lord listen so when it has to do things there we don't legislate we make petitions but the earth has he given to the sons of men i give you a job now in the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, you will go and return with him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, how many of us are trusting God for healing miracles? Or came with loved ones that are really sick? Okay, we have a lot to do. So what will happen is, we'll take a break now to minister very quickly to the sick. And then after that, I'm still going to minister to people shortly before we do the final prayer. Will that be okay? Now, but while we are doing that, please, no laziness. There will be prayer points. Are we together? There will be prayer points. Once the prayer point comes, pray. Because in that prayer point, you will receive your miracle. Praise the Lord. But don't sit down yet. I'm, I'm not walking around, but I just want to. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord directing me to someone. There is, there is something that we must settle here. I'm seeing an anointing going around this place. I'm seeing an anointing going around this area. There is oppression over someone's destiny. That's the lady. In the name of Jesus, I command that devil to go now. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ, bring her out. There's no space here, right? Please don't push them. Don't push them. We are coming back. Just take her out to wait for me. Mama, what do you want God to do for you? I want to get Kafa. To Mama Mufara, do I kijeki jirani agabako? Zamiki, I will pray for you. I'll pray for you. Let it be over now. That oppression. Let it be over by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is where I'm coming to. In the name of Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. In the name of Jesus, I saw light moving across here. And God wants to visit a family right now. Three of them. One, two, three. Where are they? Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the visitation come now. No hiding. The Lord must touch them. That's why you came. The Lord must touch you. Casting crowds. Lifting hands. Bowing hearts, that's all we've come to do. Let her go now. Casting crowds out, lifting hands. Bowing hearts, that's all we've come to do. In your name, we will rise. I don't know. That girl, 
Look at me. Shout Jesus. Something is tying you. Let it lose you now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it be over now. Hallelujah. Now please, for those of you coming here for the first time, we take our time. We, you see that we don't announce instant miracles except because we don't have the time. Our time is very limited. Praise the Lord. Now this is what we are going to do. Um, while I give you the prayer request, please listen carefully. Those, please listen carefully. I want to pray particularly, particularly, no matter what overflow you are in, if you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, don't come now. But when it's time to come, I want you to come. I want to pray for you by myself. But any other issue, those inside, I want you to come stand here. And then parts of overflow two, maybe half of overflow two can join them. Now overflow one, please you go to your projector stand. Overflow two and those spilling over at the roadside. You can move to the projector stand. Overflow three. If God grants grace and there's time, I will just run and come and visit you briefly just to let you know we are together. Overflow three, move to your projector stand. Hallelujah. And we are going to pray very quickly. Please, if they don't prophesy to you or they don't minister to you, don't worry. We have to pray quickly so that I will focus and do other things. I want everybody to receive. Will that be fine? But those who are trusting God for fruit of the womb, whether you are in overflow, one, two, three, wherever, I like you to please come. Those online, doesn't matter any nation, those following us online, doesn't matter your nation, you're trusting God for a miracle. I want you to connect right now by faith. Hallelujah. So we're going to do three things at the same time. Number one, you're going to be submitting your prayer request to the ushers. Number two, you're going to be praying the prayers that I'll give you while preparing our faith. And then number three, we'll come out. Is that all right? Praise the Lord. So let's do that very quickly. Very quickly, please. You're trusting God or you came with a sick person. Now is your time to come out, please. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Jesus, we bless you. I don't know. You reign no Casting crowds. Lifting hands. Bowing hearts. It's what we've come to do. Casting crowds. We are lifting hands. Bowing hearts. It's what we've come to do. It's in your name. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave her now. Leave her now. In the name of Jesus. Can you lay your hands on her, Jimmy? Just on her chest or anywhere. Just touch her there. In the name of Jesus, I decree. I curse that spirit. You go and you go forever. In the name of Jesus. Now this is what will happen. Please, we are going to be very fast. We have to be fast. You see that there are lots of people. Uh, our miracle services. If you came with someone, uh, just be patient. We are going to attend to them. Praise the Lord. Thank God we have, uh, we have many hands. And by the grace of God, we will coordinate. We will make it very fast. Ushers, please be collecting the prayer requests. If your loved ones are yet to send their own, send them a text quickly. And she can join the queue. Just keep them somewhere. I'm going to lay my hands on them. Praise the Lord. How many overflows do we have? There's an extra overflow I see by the road. It has spilled over. Maybe overflow four. 
you can uh, let's see ah, we have to be fast praise the lord okay this is what will happen um pastor jimmy will be at the overflow outside here pastor alpha you'll be at the overflow here benga you would go to overflow three uh, is there someone outside here who is outside here pastor alpha is outside um, promise promise you will be here with pastor alpha and then um, pastor femi you'll be with um, you'll be with benga right there at the overflow inside here i don't know how many people are left and by god's grace god will grant us grace and we'll have a lot more people to be able to minister okay kenny kenny join join um a jimmy you join a jimmy there i think that's that's all right so far let's let's just trust god for grace father we agree in the name of jesus christ that for everyone we are praying for it doesn't matter who lays hands on them let there be miracles in the name of jesus christ let there be miracles the devil is a liar let there be miracles in the name of jesus put your hand on your stomach my dear i want to remove something from your body now in the name of jesus i curse that spirit that devilish spirit father let there be miracles in jesus name please let's go very quickly we will need more hands i don't know if we still have people, I know they may. Aaron, what if you are not doing anything? Please, if you can help out in Overflow 3 with them so that at least we can help to coordinate things there. Praise the Lord. Father, let there be an avalanche of miracles here right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please worship team. You are going to give us, we are going to pray one prayer first. I'd like you to decree and declare and say, Father, I prophesy over myself that my miracle locates me now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Father, we give you all the praise. Do what only you know how to do. Come and change master free. Give me a testimony. Do what only you know how to do. Can I hear you say to my only you? Do what only you know how to do. Can you lift up a voice and say, Do what only you do know? Do what only you know how to do. Hey, do do. Don't change. Don't change the story. Give me a testimony. Give me a testimony. Do what only you know. Do what only you know how to do. Somebody say, Do what do what only you know how to do. I said, do what only you know how to do. What only you know how to do. How to do. How to do. Come and change my story. Come and change my story. Give me a testimony. Give me a testimony. Do what only you know. Do what only you know.
Judah. I trust this in you. My trust is in you. I put them on you, Lord. My trust is in you. I put them on you, Lord. My trust is in you. In the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that tonight. It's my night of testimony. Lift your voice and begin to pray over your request. Lift your voice and begin to declare. Prophesy. Tonight is my night of testimony. Shaka toko to prekete kata. Shaka pas kata prekete kosh. Unto you that answers prayers. Shall all flesh come? Pray, lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus, we declare. Make sure you are praying. Lord, I decree and declare. I will not write this twice. I will not write this twice. Lord, we decree and declare. Miracles. Miracles. Are you praying? Miracles. Visit families. There are still more that should come quickly. Ha pokoto prokoto sekete balalaba. You reign, you ancient Zion skin. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion skin. Kadosh. Kadosh, you mighty on your own, mighty in this land, mighty, mighty on your throne, you mighty on your throne. Are we done? Are all the requests here, please? In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I bow my knees before the God of my covenant and I decree and declare that every request placed here, I turn it to a testimony now. I turn it to a testimony now. Strange testimonies now. Strange testimonies now. Lord, I cry that you step in and do impossible miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, let me tell you. There are things written here that except the writer, if you read it, you won't even believe that it can happen. But I pray, the God who has the all-seeing eye that can see every request, a representation of every man's pain here, I call on that God, answer by fire. Answer by fire.
father there are issues here that are impossible with men some of them have deadlines that cannot be achieved humanly but in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God I prophesy let there be strange miracles strange miracles now for all those connecting from whatever nation in the name of Jesus we agree with you here the same fire that is on this altar through the internet to your various localities you receive the same testimony in the name of Jesus every human agent that must partner with God for this request to be granted we force them from their hiding places to appear now in the name of Jesus Christ whoever must die for this request to be answered in the name of Jesus the ground opens and swallows them whoever must lack sleep for this request to be granted we seize their peace and their sleep now hear me any mortal man that says over his dead body for you to testify may God answer their prayers this night the Lord is opening my eyes I know they are still ministering outside let's be patient the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing trees I'm seeing trees in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing these trees it's like a representation of families hold on please I'm seeing these trees like a representation of families and I'm looking at it I've never seen a tree bringing out blood human blood but in this vision I'm seeing a tree but I'm seeing human blood this is like a representation of families I decree and declare I don't know what family the devil is taking advantage of but I want to pray now I'm not prophesying I'm speaking for, for God to locate a family that must not go back this night in this situation Lord I decree and declare wherever that family is right now in the name of Jesus may the fire of God locate that family now may the fire of God locate that family now the Lord is releasing an anointing hold on over people is for supernatural clarity and direction that's what I hear receive it now people are receiving it people are receiving it I prophesy clarity clarity God is answering questions now by the anointing if that fire comes on you you are receiving direction right now clarity clarity all the overflows clarity I release that anointing right now God is giving clarity listen I'm still praying it I'm seeing anointings that will translate as answers should I stay here or should I relocate somewhere else should I start the project or should I stop every confusion and anointing is answering it now an anointing is answering it now an anointing is answering it now hallelujah hallelujah I'm praying for everybody but I'm seeing particularly overflow one an anointing for divine recovery divine recovery let me tell you something whatever leaves you can come back to your life are you hearing now there are people who have lost things I'm about to call it into your life now 
and as that anointing comes on you just know that is your time of recovery lord where are they where are those who have lost things that need recovery everywhere 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 inside outside outside the grace for recovery the grace for recovery i release that grace now over individuals and over families over individuals and over families individuals who have lost things lost things lost opportunities lost opportunities somebody is recovering an opportunity somebody is recovering something that left you hallelujah the angel of the lord is leading me here there are at least four people this grace for recovery must come upon you i'm seeing at least four people something you have lost is about to look for you something you have lost must look for you i force it to look for you by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah listen let me tell you i told you god answers you by bringing the anointing in your direction that collision with the anointing is what will program your testimony and all of a sudden you will see strange testimonies happening to you hallelujah i'm seeing a strong man in four families that god is clearing out of the way listen listen i don't say things like this lightly but i'm seeing at least i'm seeing two women and two men who have sat for long on the destinies of people they don't even know they are the ones where are they inside and outside whoever in the name of jesus by the fire of the holy ghost any man sitting on anybody's destiny here you want to rise but they stop you you want to move but they sit on your glory i clear them out of the way now listen you should attend a miracle service like this and know that you attended a miracle service like this mama you see that the devil wants to kill this woman with cancer eat her into pieces with cancer and destroy her your mother you are the ones who brought her hold the mother and two of you come you two of you need deliverance first leave mama come come and stand someone should hold or get a seat for mama to sit i've prayed for her but i'm looking i'm this is this your mother two of you i want to pray for you eh what you need i know you brought your mother to be healed of cancer but for you god must heal you first you will need deliverance eh? i'm not saying you are witches but i have to pray for you this is the instruction god is giving me father in the name of jesus you will not allow these ladies to go down the way of trouble and sorrow and pain and discouragement therefore i lay my hands on you in the name of jesus fire over every wicked devil in the name of jesus you came to stand in for your mother but satan has his own plan for you in the name of jesus Kai. wickedness is real i held these ladies and the lord showed me a vision i'm seeing a man a real herbalist sitting down on the ground and i'm seeing something that looks like a pot they are writing names of people with blood blood not chalk they will write it and throw it inside the pot write it and throw it this is an Igbo family write it throw it inside the pot lord i don't know why you showed me this vision but in the name of jesus i don't care where the family is but in the name of first my first prayer point is that that herbalist must die first in the name of Jesus Christ. If you don't like the prayer point, say amen to the one you believe. But my first prayer point is that the wicked herbalist 
this is someone's destiny these people are here oh, i'm praying you may not even know you are the one i say it again whoever is that man on the ground writing whose name whether it's your marital destiny whether it's your breakthrough in the name of jesus let the earth open and swallow that wicked man Who say na? Who say na? Who say na? Who is that, please? Let her come, please, quickly. You are who say na? What's your name? Huh? Who say na? I want to pray for you. Eh? I'll pray for two of you, but you are the one I want to pray for. What's your name? From where? What state are you from? FCT. You are from FCT. Do you believe in favor? Shout it. No, you are not shouting. You have shout favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a lot of bad luck for you and your family and this is what God is bringing for you. Favor. Who say now I want to pray for you? You are who say now to madam? Please come. You too? Is it mother and daughter or you are coming by yourself? You are, you are who say now to? I'll pray for you. But this is the lady I want to speak to. You love Jesus with all your heart. I want to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough for you and your family. Major breakthrough. I lay my hands right now and I command it. Let it happen right now. In the name of Jesus. Where are you from, my dear? Jalingo. Taraba. In the name of Jesus. The Lord gives you a miracle. Now. In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Every bad luck must leave your life now. Eh? Every bad luck must leave your life. I lay my hands and I command that spirit to go. This lady, only bad things look for her. There are people like that. When good things come, they just turn. There is a spirit that turns it away. Everybody is getting a job. Something that is simple. When is your turn? Let me tell you something. Hardship is not poverty. Hardship is a spirit. You get things, but something you can get for two weeks will take you four years. It's hardship. It's a cost. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You can't go, give God glory under that kind of condition. Simple things. You ask somebody out, I want to marry you. They answer you after four years. It's a cost. Are you, are you a demon? It's a cost. You start a building project, you finish after ten years. It's not a blessing. A hard life is worse than poverty. This is what the devil has put on the life of this lady. I, I take it away now. In the name of Jesus. And I use her as a point of contact. If there is anything on anyone's head that is responsible for bad luck happening. In the name of Jesus. I command whatever it is, let the fire of God come upon it now. Let me pray for you, man. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon you and I release favor. In the name of Jesus, favor. I'm seeing someone, you are into printing. Please, let's hurry up. We have to stop a few minutes now so that you are into printing. You print like... Um, posters whatever it is you design you print banners please who is that person i want to pray for you you are into printing uh, i will pray for you but the person i'm seeing i'm not saying if you want to do it if you are currently doing it you are into it for how long since my, my child was up I was born into printing. Your father is a printer? Yes, sir. Where do you do it? Mina. Mina? Yes, sir. From Mina, you came here? I'm serving in, in Kagzara. Because the person I'm seeing is about to lose a lot of money. This is a contract or project that someone will give you. You will suffer and do it and something will happen and destroy that whole job. And the person would say you must pay. And it's going to cost you hundreds, I don't know, well may not be so much money to you but i'm seeing something losses of 
at least this is a very big project that the person is even angry. I'm seeing something that even has to do with police because the person will say that he went and gave the job. All of you are into printing. What are you printing? I'm into printing. What printing? Books, everything in every press. Books. You yes. too. Your dad. All of you. I'll pray for you. You are standing for somebody. We have to avert this. This time of recession is not the best time to get into trouble with police. Say amen. amen. We want to stop it now. So that whether it's your fault or not, when you are in trouble, you are in trouble. And you see, the way the devourer works is that he will wait just when I'm, I'm soon going to do that prayer. Where things work, just when the miracle is about to happen, something happens and destroys your life. I have to pray for you. Where is your dad? Huh? He stays in Abuja. He stays in Abuja. That's where you stay too? Yes. What's your name? Peace. Peace. I want to pray so that we'll stop trouble. Eh? In the name of Jesus. Daddy, we use your daughter as a point of contact to pray. Every trouble we avert now. You two, you are into the printing. Where? Abu Press. Abu Press. Yes. You work with Abu Press. Yes. Hey, you walk there now, it's not your own. Okay, but I will still pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Grace. The one for me now, I release you. Eh? Can I pray for businesses? Yes, sir. Can I speak over businesses? Huh? You are into printing? Uh, what's your name? Hassan. 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 You, you, you need to. Um, well, I don't mean to embarrass you, but you are very shabby. Huh? You need to organize your life. You're a smart young man, but you see how you are looking like uh, a thief. You'll be smart when you are coming to the house of God. Listen, when you, people are, when you are coming to the house of God, don't embarrass him. This is a family, but you look smart. You don't dress, you see, no shoes. Your hair is scattered, not combed. You look smart. Eh? You are my friend. I want you, it will be difficult for you to progress in life like this. Be difficult for you to get a good wife like this it'll be difficult for you to get many good things <laughs> appearance is the seed for acceptance don't say it doesn't matter dress well the house Organize his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Organize his destiny. There is a spirit of excellence. Excellence is a spirit. You receive it in Jesus' name. I'll quickly pray for you. Doesn't matter where you're standing. You, you are into printing too. You too. In the name of Jesus, all those into printing, I lay my hands, Pastor Lawrence, grace for you. You will do well. You will get jobs in Jesus' name. There are some of us, what we need now, we are at a point in our lives where humanly speaking, we have paid our price. What you need is favor. And we are going to pray it. Is that true? Are there people like that here? There are others you have not paid your price. Paying for favor is putting you into trouble. What I need to pray for you for is grace not to be lazy. Laziness is also a spirit. Many of us don't know. It takes a lot of laziness. Um, something is leaving you. That devil must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are into printing too? In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is somebody you sew clothes. You are a serious tailor. But for a long time, this is from April, everything just went down. I don't mean gradually down like this it's almost as if please who is that person you are a tailor you sew clothes you are a serious tailor but something just happened i'm seeing the month of april and everything just went down you are the one you sew clothes where Yango. who knows you if you are a serious tailor they should know you here who are who, you've sewn people's clothes here 
Okay, Zango. Yes, there's a shop. I'm what ha- then what happened? There's a shop. I'm working for somebody. So last month he sent me out and closed the shop for no reason. Last month? Yeah. Um, okay, I'll pray for you. If you did something wrong and they pursued you, when you come here, you ask for mercy. You don't complain. Even if it's my shop and you don't do well, I will drive you. Everybody wants to succeed. So let's, let's be very honest when we are before God. Praise God. When you are before God, if you tell the truth, that's even what will provoke his mercy. You understand? If, you, if, if I employ you, don't be embarrassed, my dear, but if I employ you and you are not bringing me anything and I'm paying you, I won't I downsize and drive you. So don't make it look as if because this person you are saying drove you. I'm not seeing the person as a wicked person. No. Something happened and it's your fault. Eh? You need the mercy of God and God will help you. Don't make it. You see that if, if it's not revelation now, you will now blame someone else and say that person is wicked. My prayer for you is that God will bless you too. Huh? But please don't be angry. I'm not seeing that person. That person did exactly what I would have done. Father, in the name of Jesus, show your daughter mercy. If you need mastery, may God improve your skill. May God improve your value. And I pray for you in Jesus' name. God will not leave you hungry. The God we serve will change your story tonight. In the name of Jesus. You experience his mercy. You experience his grace. Madam, you are a tailor. Where? Samaru Market. Samaru. Market. You have your shop? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. You're a good woman, but you are always entering trouble with those you sold their clothes. You don't used to finish on time. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is showing me. Don't be embarrassed. This is a family. It may just need... You are a very good tailor. I'm not, I'm not against you. Don't feel bad. I, I'll send some people. That's what I'm saying now. Yes, and there's problem now. They're even angry. Yes, sir. Because they are supposed to sew something for them for an occasion. Uh, and you didn't finish and now the person is really angry so these are some of the things we are talking about as God steps in let's allow his mercy just tell them sorry because you, I want, you would have been far more than you are now but there is a spirit of delay sitting on your glory hold my hands he must go now to draw from you again again yeah. We've come to draw, 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 draw from you again. Listen, I want you to mark this woman. The kind of favor this woman will enter into from this night will surprise you. I'm saying it in the open. The Lord will give you favor. You are a tailor. Why are you just coming, my brother? We're praying for people here. Father, in the name of Jesus, help our brother to succeed. Hmm? It's unbelief. If God is calling a case to help people, huh? you come out proudly. You don't stand there, you are ashamed. You understand? Sana, please. You are a student and you are doing it. You people too, you are tailors. See, the tailors are now coming out. We'll pray for your business. Please, all tailors, do a good job. We believe in excellence. Don't say, I'm praying for you publicly. It's not just endorsing you to destroy people's clothes. Do a good job. Praise the Lord. Do a good job and we'll pray for you. There are too many people here. Two school of ministry wants to do their graduation gown. In two weeks, we are graduating our students. 243 students. Imagine that you get the contract to do their gown. If you do a good work, God will honor you. If you do a nonsense work, people will not endorse you just because it's the house of God. Praise the Lord. My brother, you want to study? Where? Oh, you are a student? Yes. Be okay. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord grant you grace. God will raise help for you. In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are a tailor? In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you. You need deliverance. I command the spirit. Hi, this lady, there's oppression in your dream. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God. You didn't come out for tailor. You came out by the mercies of God. You see what I'm saying? This is the tailor now. You see what? 
Let me pray for her, please. I see a wild animal. I'm looking at this lady and I'm seeing. Kai. Lord Jesus, mercy. I command every legal access Satan has over you. When this lady gets angry, she can swallow you. It's not her fault, it's a spirit. Be free now. Look how many people are holding one lady. In the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me advise you. If you want to enter a relationship, pray. If you want to marry, pray. You listen to what I'm telling you. You see, the body of Christ, we don't listen. And we do. I'm not saying this lady is a witch. Please don't get me wrong. But I'm saying you should pray. Now, I'm not condemning her. But imagine that you're in a relationship with this lady and you married last week. You see this? If this lady is angry, that spirit will manifest. No matter how strong you are, she will beat the living daylight out of you. When that spirit leaves her, she will tell you sorry and then it will come back. This is what God is helping us to solve. Are we together? Now imagine you are a customer and just because you gave her 10,000, you insulted her. When that spirit rises, she will tear your clothes or beat you. Lord Jesus, we invoke your mercy upon her. In Jesus' name. Madam, you're a tailor too? Where? Judge. Judge. I'll pray for you. You're a tailor too? Where? You're in Nazareth State. In the name of Jesus, may God increase you. I speak to your business. Let it increase. Experience increase. Delay lives your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you're in business, please lift your hands. I want to speak over your life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. There is an anointing that makes people prosper. Why are you here? You are tailors. You are all tailors. What do you mean you are tailors? This gentleman, you are a tailor too? Okay, please come. You would have come out since, so that our time, you know, our time. You are all tailors. You are a tailor too? I hope we all know that this is the house of God. Please, don't, don't tell lies. If you are not a tailor here, I'm, the prayer will reach everybody. If you are not into tailoring, please don't embarrass yourself. If you are into tailoring, leave them, leave them, please. Provided you are, I don't know what is this with God and tailors, but let's pray because God wants to increase you. You look like a tailor. You see, some of you don't look like tailors. You are, you, are not, you are not dressing like tailors. This gentleman is sharp and smart. He looks like a tailor. Ejimi teaches that you represent your brand. If you are a man of God, you show it by the anointing. If you are a tailor, if you are a public speaker, you show it by accuracy of communication. If you are a tailor, you are marketing your products at all times. You don't say, come to my shop. No. If I cannot see your tailoring prowess on you, then I shouldn't patronize you. Father, change the lives of these great people of ours. I'm just going to lay my hands and touch your head. And in the name of Jesus, I pray, may your business step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. As I lay my hands, please go back to your seat. In Jesus' name, that yoke leaves you now. In the name of Jesus, grace for you grace for you grace for you go and increase go and multiply my dear go and increase go and multiply increase madam multiply go and increase go and multiply go and multiply go and increase go and multiply go and increase go and multiply go and increase whether you're a tailor or not, after this you don't come out again. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In the name of Jesus. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In Jesus' name. If you're in business, please. Any kind of good, godly business, lift your hands. If you're in a bad business, repent. And do something honorable. Listen, let me mention an example of bad business. Any business that has to do with smuggling drugs, you are a thief. You are not in business. You stop it. I don't care whether you are helping young guys around Samaru connect with a snuff. That's not a business. 
are we together there are businesses that are demonic writing exams for people writing jam for people writing i will never pray for you for increase that's not a godly business business that has to do with you having an affair with somebody's husband somebody's wife it's not a good business prostitution not a good business dirty business that has to do with ungodly things no no sir let's be very sincere before god but i pray sincerely from the depth of my heart the power to prosper the grace that can come on a business and turn it around overnight receive that grace right now receive that grace in the name of jesus listen please i want you to be childlike enough and believe this prayer i'm praying for you and watch what god does some of you you don't have any clients you don't have any customers some of you overnight just by this prayer by miracle service october it will be like a dream i prophesy to you some of you you have the ideas what you need is capital i declare let somebody rise up who is willing to help you in the name of jesus christ some of you what you need is an endorsement of someone credible in your field so that it will open doors for you may someone who has gone ahead of you accredit you in the name of jesus christ some of you are trying to sell properties there's nobody to buy but if someone comes to buy it god will use it to honor you i call somebody to buy it now in the name of jesus now i prophesy favor on everyone i decree and declare tonight the main auditorium overflow one two three those following online the kind of favor you have never seen in your life may my god make it happen in your life now receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus esther the village girl became esther the queen through favor ruth the hungry woman who was about to die became ruth the wife of boaz i don't know who i'm prophesying to but the favor that would change your story in one month i release it to you right now i release it to you right now in the name of jesus christ help that woman there please there are people from january till now you have never testified it's not that you don't want to come out but nothing has happened i stand before the god of heaven and i decree and declare may my god do something in your life that will force you to come and testify in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare i don't know what door has closed between you and your next level you have been knocking for a long time and that door has refused to open i open that door for you right now i open that door for you right now any terminal disease ravaging anyone's body you get healed right now two weeks you are back again you get healed three weeks you are back again i set you free right now help that lady. i set you free right now in the name of jesus christ the only thing you know that happens in your family is fight and quarrel no love no joy when someone is about to rise a troublemaker comes i declare may the prince of peace may the prince of peace step into our homes now step into our families now you are beautiful you love god you are a well-mannered lady no husband i'm led to pray this prayer you don't hear me pray it all the time but i decree and declare every lady here 
ready for a relationship a godly one i call your husband to your life now every gentleman who wants to marry but no job no money the devil is <laughs> the devil is using lack of finances to rubbish your life in the name of jesus the god that can lift a man from a dunghill may that god lift our brothers here right now any project you started this year that you were hoping to have completed by now and as it is you need a miracle i release the finishers anointing upon you in the name of jesus christ all those writing exams shakatos prati alakatos in the name of jesus the grace to not only write your exams but to finish well i release it upon you right now in the name of jesus christ all our, our brothers and sisters who travel from several places to write post you and me in the name of jesus we give you admission here i don't care who you know or who you don't know we give you admission here now hallelujah school of ministry students are writing their exams by nine o'clock tomorrow in the name of jesus grace for retention receive it There are other people writing promotion exams others there are, we have a lot of postgraduate students doing their phd work research you know their thesis whatever it is anything that has refused to come to completion in your life i re i release upon you grace for completion in the name of jesus the last prayer point and we are done give me two minutes i need to pray for our spiritual lives some of you started well with God, but right now you need prayers. You need serious prayers. Prayers, zero. Fasting, zero. Word life, zero. Passion for the things of God, zero. You are not bad, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. The fire. The Bible says the spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord. The fire that must come upon the candle of your destiny. Sokoto Pakata. From the main hall here overflow one overflow two overflow three take a fresh fire for your work with god take a fresh fire for your work with god hear me some of you the moment you open your bible it's as if something happens and you close it back it's not normal i decree and declare passion for the word of god receive it right now some of you used to pray seriously you even used to attend the the weekly prayer department meeting but things happen you were offended with god and several things happen in your life and you say I'm, i've been praying but i've not seen result and you stop i release upon you grace to go back grace to go back to the prayer altar grace to go back to the prayer altar grace to go back to the prayer altar they don't know what you mean to me they don't know what you mean to me, to me. listen if someone has volunteered to pay your school fees the day you hear the person is sick with a terminal disease what will you do you will run like your life depends on it your school fees is at stake is that true the holy spirit is the key to my relevance if people ever clap for me it's because of him so as they clap for me i only become an usher 
and I say, Holy Spirit, you are the one who deserves it. When I stand and I speak, I don't have the ability to be everywhere at the same time. But as I speak, he's the one who touches people. His power. He makes his power manifest. He's the force behind the messages of this ministry that you hear and it does something to you you cannot explain. How could I ignore him? How could I ignore him? Based on what? What you see in my life is a reflection of his glory. If you ignore the Holy Spirit, you have ignored beauty and glory from your life. If you have ignored the Holy Spirit, listen, God is speaking to us here. We started last week. Many of us have truly ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Koinonia. Many of us have become so busy. You have become a business mogul now. You have partners in Abuja and, and Lagos and abroad and China. You are now a great man. You are now a five-pointer. You nail it at will. There's no need for the Holy Spirit again. You are now married. No need for crying or dropping any prayer requests for life partner. And there's no reason to seek him again. We must get to that point where we create a secret place. Every time I listen to Mike Mudok, he takes time to honor the Holy Spirit. And he does it generously from the depths of his heart. Ladies, imagine how your husband will feel when you come up and before you preach, you take 10 quality minutes and you just shower honor. Say I'm a queen because he's a king. Hi. I'm married because he married me. Ah! The man is there managing all of the blessings that are coming. As soon as you finish, that car that you wanted to buy, you say, um, honey, what did you even say you wanted? Listen, many um, I see it looks like I'm using everyday joke, but I'm telling you, this is the secret. And can I tell you something, brothers and sisters? The reason why many people are disgraced in public is because they embarrass the Holy Spirit in secret. If you honor him in secret, he will never forget you in public. Many people come on stage. The power of God is going to move. I came all the way to let you see what God will do. And we chorus all sorts of things and get angry at the people. You don't have faith. Open now, receive. What we are meaning is, try, you know, all sorts of things. We lay hands on people, twisting their head up and down. And they say, ah, let me just fall. This man will kill me. Brothers and sisters, the absence of intimacy is always clear. You can't fake it. Hallelujah. Every time, hold this mic, you hear the voice of two people. It's just that it has been woven into one. That's the reason why I can be talking to you outside. You see that? Generally. But once it is time to come into that office, that releases our oneness you will hear another voice hmm. so every time you come to touch me you are touching two people joshua selman is a man but there is the holy spirit standing behind Hiya. when it's time to lay hands on the sick he tells me remember we're in the secret place remember the things that i taught you and so together we lay that hand and while my hand is there's, there's nothing to it but when his hand comes upon your hand, ay, suddenly it, it happens as if you are playing. But then it's as real as anything. Sister, when the Holy Ghost comes upon your life, he amplifies your beauty. There is a level of beauty that people, they know there is something about you. It's not like you are the finest lady everywhere. But they are seeing the beauty that, it, that is interfacing both the physical and the spirit realm. The brother talks to you and he cannot sleep again. He knows he spoke to two people. Hallelujah. And so you greet someone and you tell the person, God bless you. And that word comes with an anointing. Because there is another personality. Say, I am never alone. Say it again, I am never alone. There is a personality that walks with me. That talks with me. See, if you carry this mindset, 
if you carry this mindset it will change your life oh i'm never alone he said yeea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil why for thou art with me for you are with me when i go for meetings and i see sick people and i see hungry people hungry for the things of god and i see stubborn people there are people that when you see in a meeting if the holy ghost is not with you start crying because you say in jesus name they are not even answering amen you see you they are as complicated as whatever you know you are in for a surprise it's at that time you can lean on the strength of one who is greater than you and you know that the holy spirit is going to do something in their lives and someone sometimes when i see people who come for koinonia you know when i follow the the, the pictures you see the person who came you know that someone brought him because he's even surprised he's just standing outside and wondering and you know this person does not even know why he came the ability of the spirit have you ignored the ministry of the holy spirit in your life this has nothing to do with just ministry it has to do with every area of your life so you must respect his ministry the holy ghost is a gentle man the limit to which you allow him to come into your life is the limit to which he remains. Revelations 3.20. Let's hurry up. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy, potent Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. Let's sing it one more time. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome. Place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy, potent Father of mercy and grace, thou art welcome. He says behold i stand he was writing to the seven churches they were already saved this is not a scripture for sinners he was writing to the seven churches in asia minor but he said behold i stand like a guy comes to propose to a lady you can't just grab a lady and say you are my wife forget about those things they used to do before you are my wife and you know behold i come and i stand i seek intimacy I seek intimacy but I will not bump into your life because you have a will you can choose to reject me and I will go are you getting my point now he said behold I stand as mighty as I am I'm able to change your life but I stand he says and I knock if any man hear my voice that means you can be so distracted you do not even hear his voice but if for any reason you hear my voice and what open the door what does it mean to open the door receive my ministry consider it that i am relevant enough consider it that without me you will lose relevance without me there's no spiritual power without me you will struggle that i am able to bring beauty and glory out of your life out of your church out of your fellowship consider it that you don't need to relocate what you need is not to come closer to the people jesus was on the mountain crowds came in the desert crowds came all these excuses we give they are various ways of explaining the consequences of the absence of koinonia if my church was in abuja people would have come i know that if i had money i would have paid for everything i would have done beautiful backdrop it's a lie it's a lie 
there is a presence that draws people it's called anakazo it's a compelling power of the spirit believe what i'm telling you no human being can resist it no matter how stubborn you are listen this is the power that created the heavens and the earth this is the power that raised christ from the dead oh no you are too small to resist it when the ministry of the holy spirit is allowed and permitted in a church in a building you will see supernatural things that will amaze you the reason why things look very difficult in churches and ministries is because we have boxed the holy spirit we are embarrassed to tell the people that he is greater than us we are threatened like two business partners who have begun to fight themselves young gicho wrote a book the secret of his building the 700,000 city in show he wrote that book i read that book years ago holy spirit my senior partner he wrote another book the fourth dimension there is more to this man you see i'm not so smart in myself come on now But there is one who can bring beauty and glory out of your life but he's standing tonight listen he's knocking you've struggled all your life to be relevant man of god you have struggled you've told lies with miracles that didn't happen because of the absence of his presence and he's saying there is no need you can get into the real thing you have exaggerated the number of your church members because you are embarrassed. You have said all kinds of things competing with people. He's saying there is no need. I can give you something authentic. Sister, you have envied everybody you can see. And the Holy Spirit is saying there is no need. There is beauty and glory. He's called the Spirit of glory. He does something to you. Do you know that the Holy Spirit can alter your physical form, your physical, biological form. There is, there is, there is a depth. How many of you have seen a man who gets married to his wife and after four or five years, they start looking like one another? Is that true? It even happens to some, even from relationship, before they get married, you say, ah, oh boy, when did you start becoming fair? You say, that's none of your business. Oneness, participation. How many of you have seen pastors of certain ministries look like their ministers and you know they did not try to cook it up something happened it looks like their physical appearance were altered that's what happened to the apostles in acts the book of acts they looked like jesus that's what happened to peter when they saw peter they said no peter your talk betrays you it tells you you have been peter said woman me I've not been with Jesus but he had been so into oneness that even when he wanted to run away he could not he had taken up the language the character let me tell you something about oneness with the spirit let's see my dear when you become one with the Holy Spirit see when a spirit comes to walk with a man the spirit begins to live out its characteristics through that man just like a demon spirit right there was a spirit and it was the posture of that spirit the woman who was bound for 18 years as you when you are praying for people and you know during deliverance sessions you see people acting like animals and acting like snakes because the spirit that oppresses them is trying to manifest its characteristic through their faculties so when you walk with the spirit without struggle that is the real revelation of grace you start seeing the love of god at work in you are you seeing the point now there are times that the holy spirit is grieved about certain things and you start crying physically because you are now you have there is a sharing together he can pour into you his burden hallelujah there are times that the holy ghost is excited so you are praying in tongues we we'll talk about that you are praying in the secret place and the holy spirit sees that you have entered the realm of victory you cannot see it and he starts rejoicing and you start laughing you see now you have not seen it but because you are one he starts letting you share in the victory that's why when a sick body is healed the holy ghost doesn't just appear and say all right stand let me shine congregation i am the one you are the only one who is left that is your own benefit 
of coming into oneness and so people look and your face are on posters and billboards and people say this is the great man and you who because you have wisdom you run back and say spirit of god i'm not foolish we are together it's the biggest secret that i've learned the ministry of the holy spirit let everything in my life give way if you leave me with the holy spirit you have not done anything to me hallelujah a great man of god apostle johnson suleiman i've shared the story here i'll share it again he was praying at a particular point and a great politician came to see him very noble man and so when he came one hour the man of god was still praying two hours he was just in the room three hours the wife got a bit embarrassed his daughter got a bit embarrassed and she went to knock and then he opened the door and she entered and she was like daddy this man Abba, attend to him let him go and he looked at her he said my daughter sit down he said you know why this man is here he's here because of my relationship with the holy spirit if i leave my relationship with the holy spirit because of him he will never return again let him wait there are many of us as koinonia is like this when we see certain dignified people we cannot worship in the presence of god because we're embarrassed the one who makes the world clap for you if you run away from him now are you not foolish because they will not clap again the one who has made you a celebrity the one who took you from the wilderness some of us we know where we are coming from hallelujah look how he's brought beauty and glory out of your life I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever. Lord. See, my mom sent me a text. My mom sent me a text that blessed me so much. You know what she told me in the text? Um, she's with her husband in Lagos. And they sent me a text. Ah, now. She said she calls me her father so she said my father make sure you don't buy a car with tinted glasses because police people will disturb you i hope you take note of that bless you or love you or whatever it is i said ah you know what it means for a mother to be so confident that her son is a success she knows that if i'm not going to go and carry any kind of thing and manage she's advising me in advance she said buy a, don't buy a car with tinted glass that's a level of trust and confidence are you getting my point can that be your testimony can your father look at you and say son i know you will build a house for me please when you are building it can you make the kitchen a bit larger and he knows you are not going to say are you joking one plot of land no hallelujah i remember years ago someone met me and we we're talking about purpose and destiny a good friend of mine and he told me something he said sir I'm more confident about your life than I am about my own life. It's not, he's not in, so he's just saying, when I look at you, I can guarantee that you will be a success, even more than I can guarantee my own success. And I told him, change it. Change it. There is a revelation you can have. John 14, 17. John 14, 17. Everyone say after me, Holy Spirit. I open up myself say it seriously Holy Spirit I open up myself to the fullness of your ministry to the multifaceted dimensions of your ministry he said even the spirit of truth he said the world cannot do what that means there are people who do not receive this spirit the world cannot receive him because it's yet him not neither knoweth him he said for you but you know him for he dwelleth with you and he shall be in you alos paracletos the helper when the holy ghost comes into your life he helps you there are things he does not do for you but he assists you let's rush what are the components of true fellowship number one the study of the word 
the study of the word these are the things you do in that secret place the components that make up true fellowship koinonia with the spirit number one the study of the word if you claim you are in intimacy with the holy spirit and you don't at least have a commitment if even if you don't have a desire you must have a commitment because there are times you may not have a desire but you must have the commitment are you getting my point mm. there are times listen there are times you may not have the desire to study just like there are times you may not have desire to go to work or go to class but you have the commitment praise god what is the relevance of studying the word it gives us an understanding of the ways of god it gives us an understanding of the ways of god the thoughts of god and the mindset of god hmm. we must study the word of god contained in this book listen when you listen to my teachings or you read my books for instance in that book is a communication of my persuasions is that true a book is simply a documentation of persuasions when i'm persuaded about a philosophy or an idea or a pattern of thought i document it so when you study my books it is possible to begin to think like me even without seeing me because you've explored my material so much you have submitted yourself to my thinking pattern and that's what leadership is all about influencing people to come to a point where they adopt your value system by using influence and not force saddam hussein and all of these people adolf hitler they were bad leaders because they caused people to adopt their ideology by using force and cruelty but look at jesus he made his life a template of his ideology so that when we saw it we'll be able to align to it are you getting my point the word of god the the greek word for word there is logos and and it's translated thoughts the thoughts of a man printed the thoughts the thinking pattern of a man and philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 says this he said let this mind let this mindset let this ideology let this frame of work this plane of judgment let it be in you which was also in christ and the word christ is christos the spirit of god hallelujah let this mind be in you that means there is a mindset everybody say mindset everybody say programming the word of god does something to you i've shared this if i if i pick come my dear you are a microbiology right biochemistry this is a biochemist for instance watch this some years ago this lady came not knowing anything about biochemistry is that true but there was a curriculum is that true that had been created with the goal of transforming her did they change her body did they injure her they just passed her to a system for a period of time and the lecturers looked at her and felt she was qualified to be awarded a degree so the word of god is his school of training you where you interact with his thinking pattern it's not a devotional to make you feel spiritual the word of god is his thought his mindset his ideology bless you my dear so all the while you've been taught all your life that if you want to be rich money doesn't grow on trees hoard as much as you can hoard cheat everybody kill if it's possible but then when you explore the mind of god the constitution that governs the operation of the kingdom you will find out that there is he that scattereth and yet increases. there is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty now you are in conflict there are two mindsets are you getting my point now and when you submit to the word of god you have permitted the word let means permit permit this mind hallelujah so culturally you have been taught that when you envy people and fight with people then you become the big boss ah and then you come and you study that when you come into christ there is a new law there is a new operation of love that works in you hallelujah 
everybody say the word of god reveals to me god's ideologies god's perspective and then it also reveals to you god's opinion about every matter there are many opinions brothers and sisters the word of god reveals to you god's opinion i'll be chipping a lot of things to bless us come share you listen if i want to marry this lady now i don't need to go and meet a devil like many of us go around scouting for everybody and they just say just tell me uh -uh. the word of god it, as a young man you want to get married are you getting my point now culturally you are taught just go to the village carry anybody that is available save johnny flog it out in the marriage yeah after all you are the man eventually you will survive two of you will be f tired of fighting and you will now sit down on the round table to discuss how to move your home forward that's a cultural way but according to scripture number one you know that it's god's will for you to marry male and female he created them not two males not two females male and female so it is very clear that you have god did not create a man and a will so if you find out that you're having desire for fish to marry you know that you need to run for miracle service there's something wrong but listen listen i'm teaching you how to adopt the mind of god see that if you find out you're having a desire for another man or another lady you know that you need help quick quick either a retreat or prayer anyone you need it quick now watch this i'm showing you how the mindset of god affects you right when you now go to study the but i'm reading now as a gentleman who wants to settle down and the bible says for this cause shall a man not a boy so the first question is what makes a man I, i'm showing you how to study and meditate upon the word of god and he said shall a man leave his father and mother that means he must be independent and there are several things that bring for independent responsibility some level of financial security some level of mental stability are you seeing how i'm building on god's mindset leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife not his wife and other concubines his wife right and they too shall become what one flesh automatically it tells me that the lady i'm going to marry is not a house girl it's not a kicking machine to beat her up every time a business deal doesn't go well are you getting my point now and then i study from god's word he said children are a heritage from the lord not a product of a man and a woman they are heritage from the lord so i bend to the mindset of god whereas i'm the kind of person that claims i'm a hot guy yo i can never do this all this nonsense that we carry from different cultures and you now come i'm this in our village ladies kneel down and lie down and lick our leg in our village when ladies cook soup is in one plate food is in one plate you now submit to the word of god you either choose to carry your village to your destiny or drop it and pick up the mindset choose ye this day the bible says that means you can choose are you getting my point now and I say, lady, when you make up your mind and say, no, me, I'm not going to do anything. No, any man that I will give it to him. I'm not, I'm not cooking for any man. I'm this and that. We are women. I'm independent. I have my own rights too. Then you read. Wives. You first ask yourself, am I a wife with this noise I'm making? You see that? Because if you are not a wife, he was not talking to you. You can continue doing what you are doing. But if you are a wife, the Bible says, submit to your husband in everything everything it did not leave you with a choice this is the law of the kingdom and so you now bring yourself and say well talk god this is how you have made it i subscribe to your government hallelujah so if you're one who is lazy and not given to prayer and you find out the bible says luke 18 verse 1 he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint automatically you know that you will submit the goal of studying the word is not to give yourself head knowledge that puffs up every time you study the word find the principles of the kingdom the next thing is submit to their operations bless you man
You see the reason why our study of the word does not profit us most of the time. Because the truth is, many of us use devotionals, we use books. But when we study the word of God, we do not submit. Number one, many of us study and argue it. When you just study, you see something that stings your ego. And you just jump it. Say, Kite, I don't like this, this book of Colossians. Let me, let me go to something else. What is my confidence? What, what assurance do I have that I'm submitting to a mindset that will not disappoint me? He said, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. He said, they are thoughts of good. You see the word thoughts again? My mindset towards you. This mindset that I propose to you. Like a man comes to meet a lady and says, look, I will take care of you. If you go with me in this journey, forget about what you see now. We are soaking Gary, but at the, the end is peace. That's what God is doing with his word. Right? He's bringing you a proposal. And he's saying, look, look, look how your mindset has made your life. The quality of your life so far is a product of your ideologies. Can you bend and let me propose this mindset. I know this, the thoughts that I think towards you. They are thoughts that will bring you good. Thoughts of good and not of evil. To bring you a future and an expected end. Hallelujah. Everybody say the study of the word. When you study the word, you understand the ways of God. And when you understand the ways of God, you will easily be able to detect error. Are you getting my point? So when you see an operation that looks like God, but does not line up with the value system and the ideologies of the kingdom, although it looks spiritual, you can judge it by the authority of the word. Are you getting my point now? Number two. Asian words ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come in open hearts. Oh, let the Asian words be part. I never study my Bible. As if I'm doing a Bible quiz or competition. Many of us believe in our minds. We are used to competitions. So when you start studying, you now come and meet your friend and say, I finished Colossians today. I was just going through it. I even started Ephesians. How has it changed your life? Who cares? Who cares whether you read the book? No. Listen, don't be under pressure. It is not spirituality to say, I finished my Bible 20 times. If we cannot see the fruit in your life, it's like saying, I know Jonathan. Every day you are telling us you know Jonathan. And we are still in the same level. We say, oh God, you are lying somewhere. Oh. You are lying somewhere. Because we know the way even Jonathan's houseboy is. You are shouting every time. Jonathan is my, my, my father's brother. If not because of situation, I would have grown in his house. You are telling at a point in time. We we'll know that you are telling a lie. That's how it is. So every time if you speak, I'm a word addict. I'm studying the word. Yet we are not seeing your life. You are the first to get angry. You are the first to slap people. You are the first to insult people. You are the first to use words that are not cultured by the spirit. We know you have not been with God. There is an absence of koinonia. Listen. There are parameters that can measure if the word of God is growing in you. The measure of the word of God in you is the measure of the lordship of Christ in your life. Are you getting my point? He said, my little children in whom I travel until Christ be formed. So I see the degree to which you have submitted to the word of God. That is the degree to which Jesus has become Lord in your life experientially. Hallelujah. Take your time and study the word of God. Listen, you must be strategic about your studying the word of God. Every day we have devotionals to help us here. But you don't have all the time to study the word of God for eight hours every day. That's not how to grow. That's a religious way. There are many of us that put ourselves under unnecessary pressure. I don't study the word of God like that. 
every day i look at there are times i get up in the morning there's no time for anything i have so much activities but i dedicate periodic times when i stay with the word of god intentionally for the purpose of discovering the gems and the treasure in the world and applying it in my life how have you been studying your word so that you can quote some of us even have some bible memory aids that help us Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who threatened me. Uh, this and that and that. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Jeremiah chapter this and that. Da, 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 da. And people say, whoa, whoa, your life is not changing. You are quoting dangerous scriptural principles that have changed the lives of ancient men. But because this thing was not done for the purpose of intimacy, it was simply done to find relevance outside of the spirit. I'm not against Bible recitation. If you stay with a man so much, you should be able to know his words. Your word have I hidden in my heart. The Bible says that I may not sin against you. How shall a young man keep his way pure? Not by trying to run away from iniquity. He said, but by meditating. By meditating. By meditating. So my value systems change. Hallelujah. Number two. The components that make for true intimacy, true fellowship. Number two is a life of praise and worship. Praise and worship. What does praise and worship do? It creates the atmosphere for the Spirit of God to manifest Himself and to commune with you. The Holy Ghost does not show up everywhere, His manifest presence, His omnipresence. The ability to be everywhere is there. Where can I hide from your presence? The psalmist says. But he's manifest his revealed presence. That he reveals himself for the purpose of communion. It doesn't happen everywhere. Look at me. Have you seen two people in a relationship? When it's evening and they want to really sit down and talk. Does the guy just look and tell the lady to sit down? And then him too, he just sits down in the middle of a junction. That was your day. What do you think the lady would do? The lady will say, this is a picture of many things to come. I'm plotting this graph and it's not heading up to your tent, O ye Israel. You see that? There is always a preparation. Because this guy loves this lady or he's trying to win her heart. He would dress the place, he would arrange it. If she likes red flowers, somebody that you know has no business with red will go out of his way buy red buy anything that looks like red it may be even the ox blood to him is red at least he tried he will bring it and arrange something and says i did this for you i prepared this place this is your own place sit down many of us do not know that there is a geography where god meets with men you can set up an altar a meeting place solomon dedicated a place in the temple and he said oh lord let this be your resting place wherever people are if they turn to jerusalem and pray hearken to them hallelujah you can make your house or your room an altar there are people here in this church building you see them in the night they come some of them pray there are some of us our rooms there are some of us certain places some toilets some garages it doesn't matter where people just lock themselves somewhere and just say lord i have come to fellowship and you just sing songs of worship. I love you, Lord. And I lift my hands. That's fellowship, koinonia. To worship you. And you're luring him with your worship. Because he cannot resist worship. Oh, my soul rejoice. Take joy, my king. And your phone is ringing and you leave it there. It's the guy that says you should send your bank account and you leave it there. In what you hear. The devil is saying, huh, keep singing. You will finish singing and eat your fingers. Let it be a sweet. And he's watching. He's watching. He's seeing the way other things do not mean nothing in his presence. Priority. Sister, you are just singing, I love you, Lord. And Prince Charming is flashing. Ha! Your body abel wants to worship Cain. is saying you better call now that things are working for you 
you have been praying and submitting prayer requests this guy is already being nice now let it be a sweet sweet sound anything you love above the secret place is an idol i don't care what it is abraham took his son son i love you but before you came i was in love with another and not your presence will kill that love he dropped that boy and lifted the knife the reason why many of us may never encounter certain dimensions of glorious things is because god tested you with that thing and his presence and you gave up his presence for it is the same thing as trading your bed right for a pot of soup soup that you eat and three hours later you are hungry hallelujah when i'm spending time with god let the whole world catch fire let it catch fire it's amazing how the devil can create so much distractions there are some of us who when we come to the presence of god that's the time to ping you just see a lady's hair say that's the hair i've been talking to you about let me snap it quickly and you become a commentator on whatsapp and what they call it all those things and the devil knows when to disturb you he waits until it's time for the presence it's time for you to fellowship with the spirit he now brings up all sorts of things psalm 100 verse 2 says come before him with singing that is the protocol of his presence sing to the spirit many of you don't sing every man that moves in the anointing is a man of worship it's a secret of the anointing that's why you see us take our time that's why you see these people standing you don't want to imagine the sacrifice that they spend i'm on stage and they're on stage with me even if it's for 10 hours and the keyboard is playing why because he's worshiping we are creating the atmosphere he said i will reveal my dark sayings upon the harp the prophet knew this and so he said bring me a mistrial I need I cannot talk I need to bring because the Holy Spirit was not resident in them he would come and he said there is a technology in the spirit that invokes his presence that's what we do during our traditional festivals you see some people who just tie some things around and they come and they are dancing and singing for hours like fools and when the spirit they are calling finally arrives you will know it has arrived confusion accidents all sorts of things registering his presence I'm here you ask for it in india many of you have watched them they blow flutes and they sing and those serpents begin to come out and people come to watch music is a law of spiritual operation it's not just a principle that's why when you listen to all these classical musics orchestras you know and and all this contemporary worship they do something to your spirit I have a bad voice so what you are not presenting a special number it's called the secret place even if you are not called into the ministry of worship god is not complaining he loves it the way it is sing any song compose your own song hallelujah have you seen a lady in love and the guy said i want to sing for you because his friend said that's what i did and the guy is not a good musician he doesn't even know that the key he's taking is not even the key of the right song. He's mixing words. He's just singing all sorts of songs. And because the lady loves, she's saying, wow, you mean you learned this song today? And the guy is saying, you cannot imagine the days of rehearsal. And he's making all sorts of mistakes. Listen, I'm showing you something about some of you. It has happened to you. That's why you're laughing. You are seeing how this guy is doing his best. He's even closing his eyes. He's communicating his passion. On a very good day, you'd have gotten up to work, but you appreciate that's how the Holy Ghost is. He's not complaining. He's not complaining. We can tell you here that your voice is not good, but when you are in the sea, go off key, go up, go down, sing bass, sing anything. It's you and him. It's called koinonia. There are not many people invited. He, not them that dwell in the secret. The secret place is not a congregation it's a place where you meet it's a love affair it's an intercourse it's called koinonia dance with 
me remember our song lover of my soul to the song of all songs this is to the holy spirit would you dance with me oh lover of my soul to the song of all songs let's sing one more time i'm making you fall in love with him dance with me oh lover of my soul to the song of all Listen, listen, listen. And while you are singing this song, suddenly his Shekinah fills the room. You know he's in that place. I mean, your whole body is shaking. This guy is responding. Your, your love song is attracting him. And you're just shaking. And you're wondering. Scriptures are just coming in your mind. And as that is happening, God is talking to people. Bless him. Bless her. Favor him. All that is happening in the secret place. There are sicknesses and challenges there are burdens that you have and you take to the secret place and you're saying oh lord about this cgpa i just saw my cgpa five carryovers and he gives you a song to sing for him because when you sing it brings him and that song begins to comfort you whereas you were crying about something after meeting with him you wipe your tears and you get up and walk like a king you have a challenge in your life you are struggling with a habit you are struggling with something and you go to his presence and you begin to sing and say lord something else is taking your place in my life and i'm reporting to you i'm a faithful bride i'm reporting to you that pornography wants to steal your place in my life i'm reporting to you that pride in ministry is taking your place and as a jealous god like a man who is fighting for his bride he will come and say let me see that devil that stands would you dance with me, oh, lover of my soul, to the song of all songs? Listen, there is not there are people when you tell secrets about your life, you are in trouble. It's as you would have just gone to nta and announce to the whole world because they will tell everybody that they just don't tell anybody the next person will tell sister b say i did i don't know you if anything happens i've never met you but the holy ghost is the only one who can listen to everything about you and still not complain i don't know one man who has been with his wife and they've never had reason the holy spirit will never quarrel you you come with your weaknesses broken you come with all sorts of things when men reject you when that guy says you're good for nothing you refuse to sleep with me go you coming back to the secret place that's the place of strength men of god who do not have the secret place when persecution starts and now see the, the apostolic ministry comes with heavy persecution if you are not a man of the secret place you will never last men will question the source of your anointing men will question the reason why crowds are gathered like this men will question all kinds of things when men shout and people oh you think it's everybody that sends me nice text messages i wish so i wish so when i get all those things i look forward to my hour of prayer and i just go into his presence and i lie down flat the one who can love me the way i am men will tell you you are looking too fat you are looking too slim the holy spirit says you are okay just stay there you are okay i don't need any shedding weight i don't need your hair is not rough you are okay come on now ladies you have given your heart to a man of inferior value why not come to this spirit you gave your whole life to a man you were sure that you are not the only one in his life but this is one who has pledged commitment with you forever You never know what true love is until you meet the Holy Spirit. 
when you meet the holy spirit you start searching for a man that can give you the same effect in your secret place and if you don't find it you don't say yes to him so when one brother comes because he likes you he now wears suit and comes for koinonia when he's talking to you you are looking for that spiritual effect that cannot be faked and you say my brother you talk like you're a christian but i don't see that signature meaning you are not a man of the secret place hallelujah worship do you do you spend time i'm telling you when i'm in the presence of god i'm not apostle joshua selman i throw away all of those things and i roll before him and i cry like a baby and this is how i prepare for meetings brothers and sisters this is how i prepare for meetings i talk to the lord and i say lord friday is miracle service and so many people are coming right now and i cannot help them i'm, I'm but a young man there are so many expectations on me and i hear the spirit of god telling me don't worry we'll go together we'll do this that's why when i sit down in my mind i'm saying okay holy spirit worship team is now ministering we're ready to go and i can just feel him saying go 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 and do it prove to the people that you are not alone ah! and as he left me not once many guys will run away from you when the going gets tough is that true i remember a guy who was making noise about a lady i will marry her he found out that she had a problem with bedwetting and it was a demonic problem the lady was a very responsible and godly lady it's just that it had been there for a while when he found out ah the brother said you know guys i'm busy oh, please don't disturb me i'm busy i'm busy i'm busy i'm busy and the day this lady came and she cried to me and it pained me because i know the brother i said such a virtuous lady so you are already trying to you've not gotten married but there is something about her life you are not proud of and you are now running away that's the same thing you will do when you get married but the holy ghost he will give you a garment you want stain it outside when you come you see him holding soap already waiting for you while you are trying to explain he says there's no need that you came into my presence is a sign that you are not a rebel to the song of all song can we sing this song just once as i prepare to round up would you dance with me Just the voices, just one more time from the depths of your heart. Would you dance with me, oh lover of my soul to the song of all songs? The third component of intimacy with the Holy Ghost is prayer. The first is the study of the word. The second is the ministry of heartfelt praise and worship. God blesses you by a keyboard. God blesses you by a guitar. Are you getting my point? Even if it's only one key, learn it. CFG and the minor. Just sit down and lie down. That's all you know. You are not learning it to sing somewhere. One day people will come and listen to you. I remember when years ago when i used to be we were three myself steve strings and andy now called amber sage is a gospel musician three of us were roommates then in Danfodio, and we would worship goodness i was like a madman sometimes i would lie down and they used to keep the keyboard of winners campus fellowship then then steve was the vice president of winners campus fellowship so they used to keep the equipment in our room praise god and i'll just get on the keyboard and steve will just take the guitar and you know his fingers those those anointed fingers goodness and steve will begin to play and while we're just playing the glory of god one night something happened i'll never forget myself andy and steve we were just singing and worshiping for hours and then we held three of our hands and brothers and sisters i tell you the truth we could not lift our hands god came into that room 
when you see a man of the secret he's ever looking young it's not about eating well he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither you see a man of 60 years 65 years looking as if there is a supernatural ability working because there truly is if it's a life-giving spirit and you stay with a life-giving spirit for so long something happens to you do you believe me absolutely prayers especially praying in the spirit Praying in the spirit is a mystery that initiates and sustains true communion. Many of us come from circles where the subject of praying in tongues has been challenged. I came from an orthodox background and I understand what it means. I went to a, a seminary and I, I have touched different orthodox circles. So I understand the way Pentecostals taught it was a terrible way nobody would they, 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 they and and then all of the rascality and madness that happened around praying in tongues made it look as though when the holy spirit came upon people he made them idiots they did not teach us that tongues was a mystery it was a language of heaven that was supposed to enforce communion it's a secret code of communication we were not taught like that I'll never forget the day they were going to pray for us to be filled with the Holy Ghost I didn't understand anything the man was teaching I was feeling like sleeping the only thing I know is he called two people and he told one to run on one leg and the other one ran on two legs and he said that's it praying in understanding tongues that's all I remember and then we sang one song hallelujah Jehovah reigns hallelujah Jehovah reigns Hallelujah, Jehovah reigns. Give him the glory that he deserves. That's all. And then we got filled with the Holy Ghost. When I started praying in tongues, I was wondering. I said, ah, oh God, I hope I'm not just joining everybody and lying. Maybe they received the real thing. Because some people were falling. Me, I didn't fall. Nothing happened, but I was praying at least. I doubted that thing for days. But I began to see transformation in my life. In JS2, I was made the timekeeper of the whole school. There was a grace in my life that I could not explain. JS2, very small boy, quarter to five, every day the Holy Ghost would wake me, physically. Someone would tap me, quarter to five, quarter to five. We had a matron called Miss Rhoda, wonderful woman. She's gone to be with the Lord now. One day, when I woke up, five on the dot, I would ring the bell. She called me and laid hands. She said, you are an exceptional person. I would study just once. I'm serious. I never have to read again. Once. It was supernatural. Then we started one, one prayer evening meeting called Operation Catacruz. <laughs> we were tired of the nonsense that was happening around. So we, myself and five guys, we were like the apostles of the school. Five of us, very small. We did wonderful things. Wonderful things. One of them was a sickler. He was like our Peter. And all through that time, that, that devil of infirmity left. Oh, we did mighty things. I prayed for people who were stammerers. And all of a sudden, the, stammer, the stammering would leave. I, for us, it was not a big deal. Because nobody taught us that this thing was great. You need honorarium. You're a great man. No. We just did our thing. And then at a point... They now started bringing a lot of priests and they were teaching. They brought a lot of people they taught and we knew it was us they were talking to. And then eventually, we threw away all these things of God. It was something in my spirit. And when we threw away all those things, it was in less than two months, our leader died. I was with him the final moment in the hospital. His ribs were swollen. That sickness came back, what he was delivered from. They were born triplets. One died. There's only one who is alive now. And I looked at him in the hospital. I told him, don't worry, you'll be fine. Little did I know that that would be the last time. Because we ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I cried one day, many years, when I realized that that was the reason. We left him. We actually asked him to walk out of our lives. 
Take your place. Take your place. I will never ask you to walk out of my life. Take your place. Take your place. That gentleman died. Most of the great prayer warriors who were doing great things. I tell you many of them today. Some of them are drunkards. Some of them are whatever because they preach to us that forget the, you know, the Holy Spirit, blah, 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 blah. Some of you right now, you are at the verge of throwing away. The only thing you have not thrown is praying in tongues. You've thrown every other thing. Prayers. Prayer opens us up to sensitivity. It opens us up through sensitivity, sorry, to the promptings and the impulses of the spirit. The ministry of prayer opens us up, makes us sensitive. You can get more of that on my teaching, spiritual perception. Opens your organs of interacting with spiritual things. And then you begin to move in certain operations of the spirit. The word of knowledge, the knowing of the spirit, the witness of the spirit. All of these things are activated in the place of prayer. Prayer empowers us to hear his voice. The Bible says while they prayed, while they prayed, the Holy Ghost spoke to them. Not while they sat down, while they prayed, the Holy Ghost spoke to them. He said, separate me, Paul and Barnabas. While they prayed. Let's hurry up. Number four. Corporate fellowship with the brethren. Components that bring intimacy or components of true fellowship. Corporate fellowship with the brethren. Very important. Acts chapter 13 verse 2. The Bible says while they prayed and fasted, they prayed, they sang, the Holy Ghost said unto them, not unto one man. Let me tell you the importance of corporate fellowship like this. It gives you the opportunity to partake of the dealings of the Spirit in the life of others. Are you getting my point now? So levels that your personal intimacy with the Holy Spirit has not brought you when you come together is like a corporate receiving. Hallelujah. Psalms 133 verse 1 says, Behold how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. And he begins to describe it. He says it's like the oil that comes upon the head of Aaron down to his bird, down to his cat, even to his garment. He said, for there, God has commanded the blessing. Behold, how good and pleasant it is. The Bible says, Acts chapter 2 verse 1, it says, now when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all gathered together in one accord. The Holy Ghost never came until they were together. There is the mystery of corporate fellowship. Not just emptying, sitting down and occupying empty pews. No. Fellowship. Do you know that you can be together as a congregation but not have fellowship? Because there's bitterness, there's anger, there's competition, there's party spirit, seditions and all kinds of things. But when you come, that's why one of our core values, the first of our core value as a ministry is love love not power not anointing not intimacy love love the bond of perfectness there is only fellowship when there is true love when two people are fighting the first thing that disappears is laughter laughter absence of laughter is a sign that something is wrong corporate fellowship what does it do it opens us to other dimensions of his dealings it creates oneness in the body the Bible says in Acts chapter, in, in Ephesians chapter 4, it says, Till we all come to the unity of the faith. The unity of the faith. The same understanding as a body. Finally, what are the rewards of true fellowship? Let me round up with this. I have to hurry up. Remember, our topic is koinonia, the ancient secret, ancient secrets to power. So, what is the reward? What is the reward? What is the reward? Huh. Be sensitive now because I sense the power of the Holy Spirit. And I'm telling you, every time I just begin to talk about the Holy Spirit, it's like, it's like a magnet that you cannot resist. 
Although our time is fast spent, but somebody must receive something tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. What are the rewards of fellowship with the Holy Spirit? I'll give you just three of them. Number one, the reward, the child, the proceed of that intercourse between you and the Spirit. The same way when a man meets his wife, something leaves that man to his wife. And over time, a child is born. That child is the consummation of their oneness. Is that true? When you stay with the Holy Spirit, when koinonia is at work in your life, certain things must happen. Number one, authentic spiritual power. Authentic spiritual power. I said authentic because there are all kinds of things. All kinds of things right now. Authentic spiritual power. Authentic spiritual power. The anointing for miracles. The anointing for signs and wonders. They are a product of intimacy. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. If you've been called into the apostolic ministry or prophetic ministry or teaching or pastoral, any of the fivefold ministry, you need the anointing for supernatural miracles, signs and wonders. Men can forget what you say, but they will never forget the impact of your meeting upon their lives. Many pastors are struggling. They keep speaking, but there is no grace. There is no anointing. There is no authentic anointing. I'm not talking about laying hands on people. That your words, they do something to the physical bodies of those listening. They do something to their minds. The words do something. The Bible says, and the Lord walking with them, confirming the words. He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. He has smeared me with oil. Where did that happen? In the, in the secret place. While I was fellowshipping with the Holy Ghost, a deposit of his ability rubbed off on me and i come out of the secret place with that ability the bible says the spirit drove jesus to the wilderness and he was there he was there for how long now 40 days and at the end of it the bible says he returned with the in the power of the spirit he returned in the power of the spirit he returned in the power of the spirit you want to see authentic power you want to see the anointing of the spirit brothers and sisters i believe in impartation from men of god but the holy spirit is the greatest custodian of the anointing you stay with him you have the anointing without measure dimensions of his anointing comes upon your life brothers and sisters listen it has nothing i don't care how weak you are right now if you stay with the holy ghost man woman boy girl including the little ones you will contact something that is tangible. The world may criticize you, but they cannot deny what is at work in your life. You are the power in me. You are the fire at work. When you see mighty works, there is an anointing. You are my ever-present helper. Holy Spirit. Ayah. And he anoints you so an ordinary man brothers and sisters an ordinary timid joshua selman when his anointing comes upon you look at samson he was a man who was weak but when the anointing came upon him he did mighty things and men will look at you they will see small you but there is big jesus there is big holy spirit so men will invite you for meetings thousands of people and when you walk through and see those wheelchairs and those blind eyes you know that it's not just about talking nonsense it's either it is there or not and you stretch your hands and you speak and say in the name of the lord jesus blind eyes open and you are hearing people shouting i can see and you are flattered yourself because you know that you are not the custodian of this this is what happens in koinonia he blesses us with his presence and so we can command devils to go and they must leave and we can command sicknesses to go and we can speak to blood conditions and change them and we can speak to situations and alter destinies a dear lady of ours wrote her exams 
and her work and, and when the results came out you know she was so excited sent me a text yesterday i met with her briefly today and this lady just nailed it on point i mean i looked i said goodness this is great the holy ghost can take a weak person mary said how shall these things be oh lord how will i have an international ministry as weak as i am how can this guitar produce an international ministry oh lord is it true that one day i will stand before the nations and god is saying do not underestimate the power of the anointing upon the life of a man they will pay you they will lodge you in hotels and you are there wondering oh god no there is this treasure you are an earthen vessel but there is a treasure the only way to take advantage of it is to carry you along because it's in you same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me oh i'm anointed say i'm anointed your love that rescued the earth lives in me listen brothers and sisters it's on the strength of the secret place that we can tell you you will never go back the same you see that that is what is responsible many of you came here probably for the first time you just said let's come and see what happened and you came and you encountered the anointing of the spirit if you are a preacher in this place stop doing ministry without the anointing you're going to fight everybody around you because of anger you will hate everybody around you because of competition and intimidation many preachers are angry with anointed people today because they they are unwilling to subscribe to the terms of authentic power it happens once in a while it just happens by magic and then when they see this happen in the lives of people especially when the person is a young man because it's not an issue of age whoever can pay that price the power that truly brings revival and transformation brothers and sisters is one thing to gather people but it's another thing for their lives to be changed there are many churches that the lives of the members are not being changed. Can I tell you the truth? I know that crowd is not an ultimate basis to measure growth and impact. But let me tell you sincerely, when people are being changed, they will come again and again and camp there. That this guy was an armed robber. He was a bad person, an occultist. All of a sudden he comes to koinonia for three or four weeks there are so many people especially many of the leaders and the workers today by the grace of god i know how these people were when they came some of them were cultists some of them were all sorts of people but the power of the spirit as a minister when people come to your congregation you don't screen them and throw the bad ones there are no bad eggs in the house of god because his anointing can change any man so a man comes who is stubborn they say we have tried and tried and he said no not when the authentic power of god comes you can handle any congregation as a pastor they can post you anywhere and it does not matter they post you to a church of 10 members in one year is an avalanche because of the anointing he said it shall come to pass isaiah 10 27 he says the burden shall be taken from off your neck and the yoke from your shoulders and it shall be destroyed not because you went to school not because you can speak english because of the anointing there's too much talk in the body of christ because there is no anointing charles and francis hunter of blessed memory wrote a book they said that one miracle is worth a thousand words how true authentic anointing Acts chapter 19, 11 and 12, the Bible says, and God wrought special miracles. God wrought special miracles. Not just ordinary miracles. Brothers and sisters, if you walk in extraordinary miracles, the only thing you will go through that is bad is criticism. But the hand of God is like a signature and you write upon the lives of men, he is alive. That's why we will continue doing what we are doing. 
that's why anyone who comes here will truly be blessed and we say it with absolute certainty not on the strength of ourselves the bible says we are not sufficient in ourselves our sufficiency is of god who has made us able ministers of the new testament not of the letters because the letter kills but the spirit gives life Number two, the second reward of koinonia is multiplied grace. Multiplied grace. Multiplied grace. What does multiplied grace bring in your life? Ease of operation. Write it down. I know many struggling ministers. They are doing well, but you know that this, this, they are doing ministry as if it's a, it's a cross to kill them. No, sir. No, sir. Jesus said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light if that yoke is killing you then it's not from god hallelujah ease of operation in your ministry ease of operation in your job there are many people who struggle just for little promotion you have to struggle and bribe and pass no 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 when there is multiplied grace the bible says great grace was upon them great grace acts chapter 4 verse 31 to 33 when they prayed the building shook and the bible says they were filled with the holy ghost hallelujah okay so just write it we may not run go there because of time our time is up number three the last one and this is the most important i want you to carry tonight is that the products the benefits the reward of your intimacy with the holy spirit is the release of your gifts your talents and your abilities please never forget this this applies to every one of us now it's one thing to be gifted but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed you can be gifted and it can be killing you but when your gift is anointed ha. Huh, Your gifts and abilities become anointed. What does it mean to be anointed? It means it is activated and empowered to produce supernatural results. So your singing ministry, you have great gifts. But when he anoints that gift, all of a sudden, your keyboard that you are playing, suddenly, you see wheelchairs standing up just because Mike is playing. That's a gift that has been anointed. Someone will come up here and just be reciting a poem or be dancing. You may belong to a rap group or a dancing ministry and you are dancing and sick bodies are healed. That's an ability that has been anointed. Many of us are gifted and we've spoken about gifts, but many of us, our gifts are not anointed. This is my beloved son. He has always been there, but now whom I am well pleased, hear ye him. Listen, stop trying to draw talents or draw resources. Forget about those things. Concentrate on the presence of God. When your gifts are anointed, people will come. When they come, they will come together with their own gifts and their own anointings. Listen, I never for once, by the grace of God Almighty, look at all the brilliant people. Let me tell you, I believe that this ministry has one of the best, excellent, and most effective workforce. And I say this sincerely from the depths of my heart. Hallelujah. From the ushers, the worship team, there is excellence at our level. The prayer department, men who are committed, you think they are just. I never, how would I have known them? Are you getting my point? I did not need to worry. When you stay in the secret place, and your gift becomes anointed. Distant shores and the islands will see your light. Has it right? Yes, you are a billionaire CEO. But until your gift is anointed, you will sit down there. Stay in the secret place. Let your gift, let your business acumen be anointed. And you will do wonders. Sister... You're, you have God blessed you with beauty but it's not anointed that's why it is trivialized you stay in the secret place and let it be anointed the rod of Moses was a great rod but it was not anointed 
when he dropped it in the presence of God, the place of intimacy, God said, now pick up that rod. It's no longer an ordinary rod. He said, with this rod, you will do signs and wonders. Your academics is great, but it has not brought you any blessings because it is not yet anointed. Stop looking for resources. When you draw people, they will come into your life with their resources and abilities. When you contend for an anointing that can solve a millionaire's problem, he will come with his millions. There are many people who try to sit down and learn all kinds of gimmicks to raise money and run ministry. How much money can you raise to run ministry? Stay in the secret place. And while you are in the secret place, you will bless a man who will come with millions and say it's a privilege to sow. Ah! Ask and I'll give the nations to you, O oh Lord. That's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands will see. Listen, I'm telling you, this will come when God gives us the vision to start building. And by the grace of God, when this ministry has entered the next season, our job is to remain in the secret place. It will start attracting all sorts of people. They will come from different countries. You watch and see. They will sponsor the TV satellites and the rest. It's not in my ambition for once to think of how it will be done. Your job is have the potentials. Footballers, brothers and sisters, footballers that cannot speak English receive millions of dollars per week because of their gift. They never knew that you need a coach. They don't even know Adidas or Puma. All they know is that they master the art of playing with that ball and people rush and say, please endorse our product. During Olympic, one little girl, 15 years or thereabout, America's sweetheart, little black girl who was doing exceptional things. This lady could, you know, do all of those cartwheel and all, all of those gymnastics. And she did it so well. By the next day, that lady was on the face of many privileges in America. She doesn't know anything about marketing. But the gift of a man. When anointed. It will call the relevant people. Right now, we don't have people who are professionals and experts in, in, in launching satellites and doing this. Don't worry. When you stay in the secret place, they will come. One day they will come. I have seen in my visions white men and people. There was a time, seven partners, multi-billionaires. I've seen it many times in my visions. And they'll come and say, God has instructed us that you and your ministry, you are part of our kingdom commitment for life. Stay in the secret place. Stop looking for houses and cars. Don't insult yourself. You're not that cheap. What you have is valuable. A day will come, they will fly you in the private jets, but you are not carried away. Remember, it's you and the Holy Ghost in that plane. You say, Holy Spirit, you promised me and you have kept your promise. It doesn't fail. The key to commanding uncommon favor is when your gifts are anointed. They will draw people from all over. God is speaking to someone here. We're rounding up. Listen, brothers and sisters, the key to timeless relevance, relevance, regardless of geography or dispensation, is when you have gifts that are anointed. They will draw nations. They will draw nations. Not people, nations. The Bible says you shall call on one person and nations will answer. Say, I'm gifted. And tonight, my gift will be anointed. There are many people here tonight is the last time you will be at this level. Take seriously what I'm saying. When God anoints your singing ministry, you see, if God does not anoint you, the other way is to start begging everybody, please, I have an album, will you buy it? Please, I have this, sponsor me. Sam, help me. When you are going for ministration, carry me along. You see people passing all kinds of complimentary cards. I'm an anointed man. Something happened in my meeting. 20 people fell under the anointing. Invite me. That is gift that is not anointed. Because when you are anointed, when you are anointed, 
people will love you. He said, because of the ointment, so do the virgins love you. It's, I know he was talking about relationship, but it's a principle. Gentiles will not come to you. They will come to your light. They can criticize you, but they will never be able to resist you. You will see, I, I keep sharing it. Did you know that people bless my mother today? People call this woman of God and bless her and sow seeds and do all kinds of things. And that is only the beginning. The secret of relevance. You will never go out of fashion when you stay in the secret place. That's why I say the greatest publicity men of god who are always outside running around trying to scrouge for ministry ministry and uh, what do they call it a connection and ministry no 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 stay in the secret place jesus was in the manger the white men carried their gifts they started tracing the stars the wise men they were tracing it where is this one who was born he was there lying down they took gold frankincense man these were great men they took it angels were announcing him he was there quietly remain in the secret place and you will see that people are talking about you everywhere from criticism somebody will say why are they criticizing this person let me find out and then he hears a message and say i know why they are criticizing you now while you are there quiet if you are talking and advertising yourself your grace is not anointed let her walk speak for her at the gates listen the secret to entering rest is that the anointing comes upon your gift you will rest indeed the bible says let us therefore labor this is not about struggle brothers and sisters please hear me the anointing of the holy spirit the fruit great grace your gift your ability your talent it brings rest and establishment. It eliminates the need for envy and competition. When your gifts are anointed truly, you will find no reason for envy and competition. When I hear that men of God, this one is trying to throw this one, this one is trying to throw this, I just turn to God and I say, Lord, I'm grateful. Thank you for all. Da, 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 da. I can't remember the song when it's about precious memories that you left with us. I just want to thank you, Lord. I appreciate you for your love. Finally, have come this far. Beautiful song. No competition, brothers and sisters. You become too exceptional. You insult yourself by creating competition. There is no reason. I always wondered why Benny Hill loved every man of God. I found out later on there was no reason for competition. Who is now going to compete with him? Based on what? Killing the sick or the anointed? You only compete when your gifts are not anointed. So you are any man of God that comes into a place, you are threatened. And that's what is creating a lot of hatred in the body of Christ. There are men of God when they hear the names of other men of God. There are men of God when they hear the name of Joshua Selman. It's as if they've had the name of a devil. It's not because they hate me. The solution is not to criticize me. The solution is to rise to the place of the anointing. Every time your gift is anointed, you will love everyone around you. It's God speaking to someone. There are some of you who are pastors of different ministries. Some of you fellowships, groups, churches. I want to speak to you. Never find yourself in competition and envy. Let the grace upon people challenge you. But not to cause you to resent people. And you look forward. I can only imagine how many people have been looking forward to hearing scandal about me. So that they will justify that everything they have said is true. There is a hand that lifted me. It will uphold me till the end and I will not be afraid. There's no need for competition. When your grace is anointed, brothers and sisters, when you criticize an anointed man, those you are talking to will go and find out why you are angry. Because they will say, why is this thing personal to you? <laughs> and then you end up publicizing the person again. 
Because the Lord is my light and he's the light of my life and I will not be afraid. It brings you finally, still point three, just sub points under point three, to a place of kingdom influence so that you can win souls and transform lives. I told you that you need the influence of the kingdom in your life. Never trivialize the place of kingdom influence. You need the influence of the kingdom. When your sphere is enlarged, you need it. So that you will be able to speak the counsel of God to nations and they will go in that direction. If Michael Jackson ever said Jesus is Lord, there would be more salvations than many crusade meetings put together because of the power of influence. And so God anoints our gifts and lifts us up to that position where we can command the influence of the kingdom. Everybody stand up please. We have just a few minutes. We've taken so much time. Please stand up. I just want to pray one prayer for you. Hallelujah. I know our time is fast spent. Please relax and receive that which I want to speak over your life. Shiva Brothers and sisters, the secret place is the answer to your cry. Is the secret, the ancient secret of power. The ancient secret of relevance, timeless relevance. It will bring you prosperity. It will make you known. It will make you increase. I'd like you to pray in one minute and say, Holy Spirit, I need you afresh in my life. Come and anoint my grace. Come and anoint my grace. Come and anoint my grace. I'm tired of struggling. There is a realm of ease. Come and anoint my grace. Anoint my music ministry. Anoint my business. Take me to the place of intimacy. Please pray. Pray. Anoint my catering. Anoint my business. Anoint my leadership institute. Anoint my job. I'm tired of a barren life. Spirit of the living God. Anoint me afresh. Take me back to the place of the secret. Let me give me time. Time for spiritual things. I cry koinonia. I cry koinonia. The birthplace of the anointing. The birthplace for relevance. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I want to pray for you. We're out of time. I'm going to ask the Lord to anoint our gifts and graces. Listen, it's not a careless prayer. Something will happen to some of you. Your gifts will start being announced. Some of you, your ministries, your businesses, some of you, your families. There are so many things you have. I'm going to begin to pray. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. As I begin to pray, the Holy Ghost will begin to move in mighty ways in this place. And there will be baptisms just in one or two minutes. And then we'll rise. Lift your hands. Father, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, Spirit of the living God, let there be an anointing of gifts. Let there be an anointing of abilities. As I count three, I want you to just shout that name, Jesus. And there will be a baptism. Goodness, the power of God is everywhere. One, two, three. Take it now. 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 God is anointing gifts. Anointing gifts. Anointing gifts. Anointing gifts. Go ahead, be praying in the spirit. The anointing of the spirit falling upon gifts. Anointing gifts. We're out of time. Just one minute or two minutes. Hallelujah. We're going to shout again. Listen. I always see this. I'm seeing the fire of the Holy Ghost. Like cloven tongues. And it's going to rest mightily on many people. Ideas, gifts, entrepreneurial graces. Lots of things will fall. Hallelujah. Praise God.
at the count of three again we are going to shout this one will be mighty i see tongues god wants to anoint gifts you will not be ordinary from tonight there are ministries that will be anointed there are businesses that will be anointed lift your hands thank you jesus christ my god let this fire fall one two three Take it now. 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 I anoint your grace. I anoint your gift. Let it speak. Let it speak. I anoint your business. I anoint your ministry. Be empowered. More potokete. Receive it. Receive it. That fire upon your gift that fire upon your potential that fire upon your ministry that fire for the secret place take it now take it now take it now like a mighty tornado is coming upon you take it now Take it now. Entrepreneurial grace. Take it now. Business acumen. Academic intelligence. The anointing for signs, wonders, miracles. The demonstration of the kingdom. Teaching graces. Apostolic graces. Prophetic graces. I anoint your grace I anoint your gift I command it to speak I bring it out of the box You are one with the Holy Ghost You are one with the Holy Ghost When you talk, you are talking in partnership when you pray, you are praying in partnership. As you walk, you are walking in partnership. As you do business, you are doing business in partnership. As you study, you are studying in partnership. As you are on your job, you are on your job in partnership. Hallelujah. I prophesy upon your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything that attempts to kill intimacy with the Holy Spirit in your life. I command the restoration tonight in the name of Jesus. I declare that for those of you who have made it a point of duty to stay and build in his presence from today. May an extraordinary anointing come upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the aura of his presence. Let the fragrance of his glory. May it go with you everywhere you go. That men will look at your life. And know that there is an effulgence of heaven. I command that your physical body will radiate the glory of God. And I pray that grace be multiplied upon your life. Grace be multiplied upon your ministry. And finally, I pray for you. The works of your hands. The giftings of God in you. Whatever you have to do in the name that is above all names. May it become anointed from tonight. May it become anointed from tonight. Where you used to struggle. There is ease of operation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And you will call upon his name and he will answer. You will call him and he will show up on the scene. Those of you who are pastors, may you begin to see mighty things in your meetings. May you begin to see mighty things. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and just worship him. All those who are worshipping with us for the first time and all those who came from Joss especially and other places while we worship him, please find your way to the front quickly. We're out of time. 
find your way very quickly to the front. Please, quickly, 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 we're out of time. Thank you, sirs. Thank you, ma'am. Celebrate them, Koinonia. All our first timers. Everyone who is worshipping for the first time, please come out. God bless you. God bless you. Don't sit back. We have a blessing and a prophecy for you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. We honor you. We celebrate you. We appreciate your coming. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Keep coming. This is Koinonia. We thank the Lord for bringing you. And for those of you who invited them, may good things keep coming into your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you everyone. This is called Koinonia. I spoke a lot about it tonight. Hallelujah. It means intimacy and partnership with the Holy Ghost. Thank you so much for coming. Let me assure you, your life will never be the same. Something will happen to you that you yourself will not be able to explain. We are anointed and when we pray for you, you are blessed. Stretch your hands, saints of God, and prophesy. This is our gift to you. Our gift to you is to speak the word of God in your life. Our gift to you is to alter the word of God in your life. To alter your destiny with the prophetic word of God. We speak to you. Those of you who are sick, as we are speaking to you now, I command that sickness to leave you. Never to return. Those of you who have been oppressed, as we are praying for you, I command that oppression to leave you. Whatever it is that you came here with, we are praying for you right now and I'm speaking. Let a world of opportunities be open. We break limitations from your life. And I command you to experience the glory of God. Hallelujah. May God bless you. We bless you with the blessings of heaven. We bless you with passion for spiritual things. I pray in the name of Jesus that you walk out of this meeting and experience. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.